Hi everyone, I'm Savianne Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was I, I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlay thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with a sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. Um, but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas. So do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. Do you love sewing? Are you creative? inspiring and love to share your skills and tips with others. We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares and needlecraft to join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good luck! We are moving home. From Wednesday the 26th of January, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane are moving to Freeview Channel 73. We will still be on Sky Channel 670, YouTube and Facebook Live as normal. It's only the Freeview Channel that is changing. Keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook, Instagram and our email newsletter for more details. And if you watch us on Freeview, don't forget to tune into Freeview Channel 73 from 8am on Wednesday the 26th of January. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares and needlecraft to join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. 
So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Morning, good morning. Guess who are here today? The Gremlins. We were doing so well. We did everything. Literally, seconds before we came on air, Hannah went, what's this mean, Elliot, here? And we've got nothing again now. Um, anyway. Oh, and the microphone just cut out then as well, apparently. Oh, poor old Elliot. He's gone into one now. So what have we got and what haven't we got? Tell me what we've got and what we haven't got. We have no graphics. We've got no graphics. Okay, we're trying them now. Try them now. Early bird. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, no, there's no graphics. There's no graphics at the moment. So I'm just going to say welcome. Sorry I've not been in for four days. I've had four days off. I've got my new cats. I've got my new cats. Don't you worry. If you're new to a state, it's not always like this. We are Sewing Street. We are a channel that is... Hannah's told me to tell you who we are. So I'm just saying to you that we're a channel that we um, sell sewing kits. And we sell uh, quilting kits. And we've got a fabulous show lined up for you today. have got Sally Ann Harrison in here with me uh, as my guest today. Uh, we've got you, John. That's all that matters, says Julie. You're very kind, Julie. But I can't not sell anything for five hours. Morning, John and team. Loving your shirt, says Loring. Cousin Susan says, I love your shirt. Claire says, good morning. Loving your shirt. My favourite. She says that every day. Uh, Julie says, air threading overlocker arriving today. Oh, you'll love it. You will love it, Julie. Susan says, good morning, everyone. Freezing in Derbyshire. Fiona says, good morning. Lovely sunrise here in New Malden. It's still dark here. Uh, and really, really icy cold. Amanda says, good morning to you all. Margaret says, morning, John, Hannah and Elliot. Have a great show. Mm, not starting off that way. Patricia says, morning, John. Love you from Blackpool. Glennie says, good morning, John and team. Pam Minnie Harney says, good morning, everyone. Lynn Stewart says, hello there, everyone. Kate says, good morning. Um, and Cousin Susan says it's frosty and foggy in Kent. Well, I tell you what, it's absolutely freezing. We've got freezing fog here. So driving in this morning, Sally Ann arrived a bit after me and she was like, it's not very nice out there, is it? It'd be like really clear and then suddenly thick, 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 thick fog. And then as I came through um, Studley, there was like a, um, a car just stopped in the middle of the road. And then at the end of where we turn in here, opposite Greg's, there was an all completely smashed up car. Did you see that? We came in this morning, completely smashed up car on the grass next to McDonald's. Uh, Gillian says, hang on a minute. Oh, Gillian, where have you sent a message to? It just came up at the top of my screen, but it's not on my thing here. Kirsty says, morning. What's it like being owned by two mini panthers? I know. <laughs> this morning, they had the shock of their life. I've got two new cats, right? So I remember I told you I was taking over Cherry's cats. They're two years old. They're called Luther and Ghost. They're black, like black panthers they are. Um, uh, it was funny because Ghost, when they arrived, uh, Cherry said, oh, Luther will be really friendly. Ghost will be a bit nervous. Other way around. Ghost's been like, oh, I love it here. I love it here. Turn the fire up. Put another bar on the fire. Um, Luther's been living underneath the kitchen cabinet. But anyway, it's come out now. They're fine now. But uh, I'm looking forward uh, to getting to know them a bit better. They're just settling down. But of course, each morning for the last four days, I've just got up normal time this morning. It was still dark, wasn't it? They were like, what are you doing down here now? What are you doing? And they got all confused. I started getting the food out. And they were like, it's not breakfast time yet. And I was like, tis now. Get used to it. This is the new, new, this one. 
Uh, Pam Minihan says, what a fabulous shirt. Thank you very much indeed. It's an old one, this one. No fog here, says Jill. And says, good morning, John and team. Um, Chantel, morning. Got the week off so I could do some sewing. Oh, lovely. Morning, John. What a beautiful shirt you wear. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is quite an old one, this one. I don't normally wear this one because it's normally a bit tight around the tummy, but it's all right today. Oh, yes, right. Now, um, make sure, we, we just got to check, message a few of the management. Um, have you entered Search for a Star yet? Uh, Elliot's got a little film here, he can show you about it. Uh, here you go, let's watch this. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Still not fixed, but I hope, you, I hope you've all um, applied. Julie, have you applied? I think you should apply, Julie. Uh, anyway, uh, Anne-Marie says, hello from Belfast. Hello, Anne-Marie from Belfast. Um, Jill says, what a beautiful shirt you're wearing today. Nothing on pre-order. No, Terry, there's nothing working at all at the moment. I'm sorry, nothing's available at the moment. Uh, no fog in Portland, says Jan, just very great. After the lovely sunshine we had recently. Susie Duncan's up and watching. Thought she'd be out running with the dog by now, wouldn't you? Your cats are beautiful, says Susan. We'll soon get used to your crazy schedule. Freezing cold here in Hampshire, says Stephanie. Amanda, morning, John, everyone. Got the day off, so I've got my eye appointment at the hospital this morning. Oh, take care. You take care going there, won't you? Um, yes, and now, um, I went to have a, I asked about having a cat flap put in my back door, because uh, I've got, a, you know, I've got a new back door, a new front door. Anyway, I can't have, well, I can, but it uh, negates any um, warranty or anything like that. So I've got a man coming. Roxana was right, I've got a man coming tomorrow. So we're going to the vets first thing in the morning to get their nails cut and just to get them to meet their new vet and everything. And then uh, tomorrow lunchtime, we've got Kevin coming round, who's going to measure up. And apparently they can make a whole panel of glass, double glazed to go in my French windows, which has got a cat flap already put into it. It's going to cost, going to cost me a fortune. What's the matter? We've got a plan. We've got, it's not the best plan. Okay, IT have just logged into Hannah's computer to try and solve the issue. What we're going to do? We're going to do the early bird at the end of the hour, of course. Oh, for goodness sake. Bye then. I'm off. I'm not sticking for this. You know, bye. Hello. 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 Right. I'm John's younger, slimmer, more gorgeous butcher twin. Uh, I should have changed my glasses. I walked across. I would look different there, wouldn't I? Okay, I've got a menu for today. We can do that. So at eight o'clock now, I've got designer fabrics. Nine o'clock, we've got the Liberty Flag Quilt with Sally Ann Harrison, which is the one behind me here. Oh, Elliot's got a picture of it. There you go. <laughs> We've got that in several colourways, featuring the Sally Ann Liberty fabric. Uh, then at 10 o'clock, oh, there it is. There, Elliot wants to show you all his pictures now. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got sewing room tools. At 11 o'clock, we've got the rainbow pleat cushion and pouch with Sally Ann. But there's more than that. In that hour, Elliot, we have got, there's the pleat cushion. There's the pleat pouch as well, underneath it there. Okay, nice. Then we've also got... The uh, purse, the, ma the makeup bag, in two different colours. We've got the apple cushion in two different colours. That's it now, I think, isn't it? I think that's it, yeah, back to the menu. And then at 12 o'clock, the sewing machines and accessories. Uh, 
And we've got a what? Oh, yeah, to make storage stuff as well in that hour as well, yeah. Right, now, I can't do how to get in touch. You can, you can still get in touch on the Facebook Live. Oh, the email's working, so you can send an email, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Or, of course, now, it's the, what, the white box across the bottom won't be working, but you can message on Facebook Live there. So let me just see, I've just got quite a few messages to come in. Stephanie says, freezing cold in Hampshire. Um, Blurter says, good morning. Lucy says, good morning. Claire says, no fog here. Good morning, says Helen. Looks like snow in Hereford. And says, you might need to have a good song and dance routine ready at the way today's going. Tell me about it. Sandy says, beautiful here in Anglesey. You're looking lovely this morning. That's a beautiful shirt. I bet your cat's wonder where you are today. They will, because I've been with them all day, every day for the last four days, haven't I? Can Hannah write the code on a piece of paper and hold it up? Funny you should say that. Um, and Susie says, love the quilt, Sally Ann. Right, now, the only way, oh, we can show videos, can't we? Right, okay, this is a new fabric, right? And it's really, really lovely. And the lady's called, it's just escaped me with everything that's going on at the moment. Um, no, no, it's, I've got it here, I've got it here, I've got it here. Oh. Uh, what's her name, Elliot? Oh, no, isn't it weird? I've had it on the... T yeah. And all of the fabrics have cut off at the wrong point without a name. Anyway, oh, there it is, there it is. Kelly May Krenz. Here she is. My new line, Boho Blooms, is all centered around little bits of things and magic that I love. I've always adored flowers. I grew up with my mom having really sweet gardens and my neighbor Dorothy having beautiful gardens. So I've always been able to pick little tiny bouquets to big bouquets and forever I have been enamored with every little part of a flower. Now I have turned to like painting and illustrating flowers and having a complete ball doing so. And I hope that my enthusiasm for the love of flowers and gardens and storytelling, I hope that you can see how it all comes together in my new collection, Boho Blooms. I started with paintings, some of them are behind me and all of my work is done by hand and then taken into the computer. So everything starts out with either pen and ink or an actual painting like what's behind me. And then I get it to go into the computer where I can manipulate and play with it. I usually don't change colors a whole lot in my paintings. Um, once it gets to the computer, it's usually perfect if it's just high res and goes with that. I do want to tell you one thing I'm very excited about, and that is I have a black and white fabric that's a story, one little story that repeats several different ways so that you can mix it within this whole body and create your own story. And I am super excited to say that I love pen and ink brush by hand so everything is illustrated all of the lettering all illustrated by me it's not a font and i just love how it turned out i'm really excited and when you take all of these fabrics and put them together no matter how you cut them no matter big little how you crop them some sort of magic comes through with the fabric somehow you get even if you get a wee bit of a stem or a flower or a word or a texture it's all completely cool i also have which i offered with my first collection spirit of the garden i have a panel of postcards yeah they're fabric postcards which is perfect you can write on them stitch them embellish them and send them in the mail how cool is that? I know, right? Snail mail and you can send it off and it's just like sending more goodness and joy into the universe, which I think is very fun. Nothing's really perfect, but to me, perfectly imperfect is perfect. So with that said, I'm looking forward to showing you each of the fabrics that make up my collection of boho blooms. And I hope that you will be as inspired and as excited and truly 
love the variety of color, pattern, and texture, and tell your own stories using my fabric line. Thanks. Hello, I'm look what I'm doing. I'm writing down the code and the price. Right, first of all, I've got some questions. Someone's just said they've got to go out. Was it Julie? Uh, uh, Julie says, morning. Oh, no, it wasn't Julie. Yeah, no, another Julie. Can you tell me how much Sally Ann's quilt is? I've got to go to work. This quilt here in this colourway is... £55.99. And, and the code is... Oh... K six six. <laughs> it could be a long day. Forty seven. Right. Okay. You ready? Okay. So this is the code. Can you see it from there? Okay, and we need to type the phone number and all you need to do is ring the call centre and you buy it. Oh, I didn't put the price on. How much was it? 55, 55, 99. Now it does come in other colourways, but I know you've got to go out, Julie. You've got to go out. There you go. The only way to shop is by telephone, I'm afraid, at the moment. Okay, 6647, 55 pounds and 99 pence in that colourway. This is Sally Ann Liberty. And then you've got the ivory and the cream in there as well. I think it's seven metres of fabric you get in there, wasn't it? If you don't have the telephone number, it's here. There you go. 0800-001-4433. 0800-001-4433. And now Facebook's some... Yeah, I know, Claire. Claire said I was only joking. I know, Claire, but we have no, we have no option. Right, I'll pray quickly. Susie said, dog's still asleep, so walking later. I've got work to do for Sunday. Looking forward to seeing a picture of the cats. Karen, I haven't got a picture here. You have to go to my Facebook page for that. Uh, June says, morning. Love that shirt. Is it new? No, it's not new. They're fine. Thank you, June. Um, Lynn says, good morning. You look gorgeous, as always. Loving the shirt. Hi, John. Can you also put a cat? Oh, yeah. I can't put a cat flap in the wall because there's no wall to put it in because the whole of the dining room is glass, right? And then the next bit is all kitchen cupboard. So there's actually no outside wall for them to go out of. I'm not putting them through a kitchen cupboard. Uh, Roxana says, morning, glad you resolved the cat flap problem. At least it costs less than a new door. Only just, only just. It's very, very expensive. Uh, I'm off to physio later. She's trying to get my rent shoulder sorted. Sue says, morning, John and crew. Weather could go either way here in Rochester. Right, okay, so Boho Bundle. That's this bundle here. It's £82.99. I've got the code. I've got the code. Oh, now you're obviously you're getting half me to free, saving £6.99. Look, there's the code. GW6679, £82.99. The only way you can buy is on the phone. 0800. Actually, let me write that down. 0800. Yeah. 0800 001 Right, okay. Completely free. <laughs> if you're just tuning in for the first time, you most of them are thinking, this is shopping telly at its most basic, isn't it? Right. GW6679 for £82.99. Now, you get, you get all, half a metre of all of these. Now, you are getting one of these half metres for free, remember? Right, here we go. Gorgeous. Maybe I should make those smaller. You do you get half a metre of each of these, remember? There we go. Fold them smaller so they fit on better. I didn't dare tell Elliot that I'm echoing like Billy because he's got enough to sort out as it is. Nothing. Don't worry. Yeah, you've got far more important things to sort out. Okay. Say that again. You're not echoing, it's me. Right. So you get half a metre all these fabrics, you get one for free. And then you also get this gorgeous panel. This is new, remember? New fabric. Look. Now this, she talked about this in the little film, didn't she? 
This is a panel of postcards. Now we're thinking, it looks like you get two panels, doesn't it? But you get, you get all of that. You get all of that. You can make little postcards, put them in the post. Yeah, you get double of everything, look. I, do, I think maybe that's supposed to be just that, that size, but they've cut it like that. Yeah, this is so funny. Keep going, John, says Amanda. Thanks, Amanda. Hi, John and team, says Isabel. Handling you all. Handling. You are things very well this morning. Keep it going. Ghost and Luther have certainly fallen on their paws coming to live with you. Uh, they have indeed linked to it. My friends have a cat flap in their garage. Yeah, but my garage is separate from my house. That's no good to me. They can go in the garage, but they won't be able to get into the house. Anyway, look. That's the full bundle if you want the whole bundle. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. This is, yeah, you have to, can't go as quickly as normal, Hannah. There's the code for the full bundle. GW6679. Just ring the call centre on 0800. Oh! I've got it, Elliot. 0800 001 4433. It's a free phone number. Give us a call. What's that red circle that keeps flashing up on the left-hand corner? Anyway, never mind. Right, so now the code for the panel is RV U1 I 60 Right, this is the pan, and how much is it? £13 on the dot. So that's your code you need. RVUI60. Oh, that's your phone number, 0800-001-4433. Thank you, Elliot. Thank you for your support. And here's the panel on its own. There's the panel on its own. RVUI60, £13. Ring the call centre on 0800 001 4433. Tell them you'd like to buy this. Has anybody bought anything yet? Oh, my word, at last. Thank you very much. I'll keep that on the side, just on the safe side. Thank you, Andrew in IT. Boho Blooms, postcard multi-panel, 60 centimetres. Is, oh, it's supposed to be six centimetres. That's what it's supposed to be. 13 pounds. 13 pounds, that is. Gorgeous, 100% cotton, isn't it? Oh, no. Good morning, John and crew. I literally only stumbled across your show a couple of days ago. I love the choice and offers. Michelle from London. I'm sorry, Michelle. It's not normally like this, Michelle. But we're up and running now. £13. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, 60 centimetres long. No early birds at the end of the hour. Margaret said, loving this, old school television. Thank you, Margaret. We're back, to, we're back to it now. Oh, the graphics have gone. Okay, right, everything is going on pre-order now. Everything for the whole. Refresh your computer. Is Sally Ann's hour right to go on free pre-order as well? Right, okay. So everything is now on pre-order. Uh, I'll show you how to go and look at pre-order now. I'll just wait for it to download and then we'll go and have a look at it or upload, whatever it's called. Right, in the meantime, here's the bundle. I did give you the graphics earlier. GW6679. There you go. £82.90. You are getting half a metre for free. Beautiful, aren't they? The colours in there. You saw the little film all about her. £82.90. Half a metre free, £6.99. Sorry if you're on Facebook and it's freezing. John, you're such a trooper, nothing phases you. I tell you what. I, don't, I can't tell you what. <laughs> I did <do>. Yeah. <laughs> don't come that close. £82.99. Right, shall we go and have a look at pre-order? Right, go to the website, www.sangstreet.com. Oh, hang on, Elliot's just got to press. There you go. Click on watch the live show. Then uh, scroll down. You'll see two columns. Today's show deals things that have already gone through. Just the one panel. <laughs> and then something's coming soon. Today's deal of the day is coming soon. We haven't done the early bird. Right, but then if you click on pre-order, you can see everything that we've got for the next five hours are all on there. Everything fabric from this hour. 
beautiful unicorns. There's the, uh, not the early bird. There's Sally Ann's quilt in the different colourways. Instructions on their own, different colourways. Ignore those pins. Uh, there's more there. So I told you the five colourways. Oh, they're all 55 99 That's nice, isn't it? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go back. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, then we've got tools. Little thread squeezers. Gorgeous. That's the tool hour. Then we've got Sally Ann's second hour. There they all are. Sold out last time she was on. Uh, little makeup bag sold out last time she was on. Uh, I haven't had the apple cushion for a while. Then they're, oh, suddenly they're at the end of the day. Oh, that's nice. That was a quick show, wasn't it? So sewing machines and things to make for storage in your house. Oh, Amber Makes. I've got Amber Makes. Oh, Rebecca Reed. Oh, now it actually says on the, on the website, it says Rebecca Reed's doing the last hour. She's not, apparently. She's not coming in, especially to do the last hour. Right, your cats look beautiful and they're spoilt already. It always makes a house a home when you've got pets. Oh, thank you, Lynn. John, you're a complete... Oh, pro. I wonder what it said then. Cheery too, says Margaret. Thank you. Right, OK, so... Um, no, hang on, I've got, I've got a thingy to go with this. Haven't I got a complimentary bundle to go with this one? Sorry, sorry. Got a, a coordinating bundle to go with that, which is gorgeous. Even if you're not going to get any of that, this is a beautiful bundle. Hot tomato, sunshine, fuchsia, don't know, apple, peacock, I don't know. I've been off for four days, what do I know? 19.99. Boho rainbow bundle. Which one am I looking for, did you say? Next, did you say? Lovely. 1999. Gorgeous. Now I've got a Michael Miller panel coming up next. So that goes with that. This is your Michael Miller panel. Apparently it's got mushrooms on it. So there won't be mushroom for anything else. Boom, boom. Oh, it really is mushroom. <laughs> it really is mushrooms. 1099. Michael Miller, 1099 panel. That's good, isn't it? 100% cotton. So do we know? Do we know what kind of mushrooms they are? Brown ones, purple ones, yellow ones, toadstools. Don't eat the toadstools. Ten ninety nine. Is there a frog on there as well? <laughs> There's something going on today, isn't there? Apparently there are Amazon, frogs in the Amazon, not the Long River, the actual Amazon itself, right? And if you lick them, you mustn't. Why would you even think of licking a frog? Oh, okay. Beautiful, aren't they? Anne says, well done, John, you're a star. That's why I will love you. Ah, 10.99. Elliot tried it, ended up with Amy. 10.99. No, no, say, if they say, kiss enough frogs, Elliot, you'll find an Amy, won't you? She's your princess. Single figures, this one left now. Michael Miller, be kind to everything that grows. So he's put mushrooms. I'm growing, I'm growing. Not as much as Elliot. Elliot's outdoing me on the growing department. Oh, Elliot said I looked same earlier. I didn't hear you say that, Elliot. I'm so used to Elliot insulting me when I walk in the morning. I just, I just put it like white noise, you know, Elliot. Leave it like that. Right now, did you say I've got a, um, a, a film about somebody else? No. Oh. <laughs> is it Jill Finley? Or is it, oh, it is Jill Finley. Let's have a look at a slide about, now, I've got to admit, I, I had, I didn't read this before I came on. Now, we get told off by Hayley if we don't read it before I come on. Oh, who's playing with that screen over there? Anyway, there you go. Here's Jill Finley. Oh, she looks lovely, doesn't she? Jill Finley 
has been designing quilt patterns for over 15 years. Several years ago, she launched her design business, Jillily, Jillily Studio. She designs and sells quilt fabrics, patterns, kits and notions. Her quilt designs depict her own fresh style using great colour and texture with many fabrics. She usually adds a little applique to soften and finish each design. Her designs have been featured in several magazines, including American Patchwork and Quilting. Ooh, Quilt, Quilter's Home and McCall's Quilting. Oh, don't they look lovely? Ah, was... uh, now, here we go. Let's have a look at this then. OK, I thought it was just going to be a piece of thing to slide on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, petals and pedals. Aren't these beautiful? These are some inspiration by Jillily. Oh, they're lovely, those poppies, aren't they? Do you know what? I had this last week. And I love it. I don't know if I had the char I don't know if I had the 10-inch charm pack. Um, but I definitely had this fabric last week because I love the little bicycles, yeah. It's new though, it's new, it's new, it's new. Look, yes, look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. New oh, now that, can we see that slide again? <clears throat> Is that possible? Look at the border of the quilt. Look, look at the border of the quilt there. That's that fabric, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and the writing, and the writing. Oh, lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Look, bicycles at night time. There's the writing again, the swirly writing. Oh, look. Little flares. Oh, that's nice. That red is rich, isn't it? Petals and pedals. That gives it away for the pedals from the bike. Hound's tooth. Just the wheels. There's no wheels on my wagon. But I'm still rolling along. The Cherokees are after me. They don't come. What's that song I'm singing? I'm singing a happy song. I don't know what the, the chorus is now. Anyway, look. What? Five wheels on my wagon, and I'm still rolling along. I, oh, 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 that's. Now that was on the quilts, wasn't it? Was it? Was it? Is, is that the one round the second quilt, the medium quilt there? Looks. A bit green, that one, isn't it? Yeah, yellows. Oh, these are. Oh, Elliot's seen that in the quilts. Isn't it? Oh, and I can see the applique now. She's done the flowers and the applique. Lovely. Where's the gingham? Where's she used the gingham? There? Oh, I can see there. Lovely. Beautiful. Oh, look. Fresh, fresh greens there. There's the border. Elliot's getting very excited there because he's being able to match the fabric to the picture now. It doesn't take much to excite him. He's had his hair cut as well, everybody, ladies. And he's got a flat back, a flat back to his head. You know how we've all got this here? Oh, he's not going to show you now. He's not going to show you. I'll do it in a minute. You know, you've all got that bit there, that lump there. He hasn't. He just goes straight up like a flat. Lots of babies are like that. When you put them down on there, maybe when you're a baby, they must just put you back on your back the whole time. Well, no, also, he wouldn't be able to roll over, would he, because he'd been like that then. Like a, a what's-it tortoise. He loves it. He loves it. He started his diet, but when we went out for the curry the other night, did you see him on the picture next to Stuart? He calls him his dad. Stuart doesn't like that. Well, I don't think he's old enough to be your dad, is he? Song is Three Wheels on My Wagon by New Christy Minstrels. Thank you. It's the full moon, and I'm called Grandad, apparently. It's the full moon tonight, guaranteed to get the gremlin, says Susan. Thank goodness the A-team are working this morning, apart from Elliot. Keep up the excellent work. We all need you. <laughs> I added a bit about Elliot. But they're all your different fabrics on there. I love those florals there. The florals and the ginghams. The florals and the ginghams were mine. $49.99. Beautiful 10-inch squares. Higgity, higgity, higgity high is the chorus. Oh, there you go. Don't remember that bit. 
Anyway, $49.99, that's stunning. New, new, Jill Finley, Petals and Pedals, 10-inch charm pack, 42 pieces you get there. 100% cotton. Now, it's, um, is, it, is it by, um, hang on, let me find this. It's from the Riley Blake Stables, from the Riley Blake Stables. Right, beautiful. Where am I going next? <gasps> Can I do this next? <gasps> now, I was at home the other day, and was it Stuart was on, I think? No, was it? Oh, I get, I'll forget those two muddled up. It was Neil, not Stuart, <laughs> on his birthday show. And I saw these and I said, I should have those because I'm GIA trained. Gemological Institute of America. Oh, okay, before you... Right, let me explain something. I've got the bundle of the two bits here and I've got the bundle of complementary fabrics. You can buy this on its own. You can buy this on its own. But if you buy both, you get a discount. So, do they have to put a code in for the discount? How does it work? Right, okay, so it'll automatically happen. If you buy this and you buy this, you get how much off? Two what? Oh, two seconds. 30% off! Right, so if you buy this and you buy this, you get 30% off the total price. So let's do this one first of all. Two panels, this is two panels. Oh, and I love this. I love, if you love birth gemstones, look. Oh, I think this is beautiful, this. Imagine that as a wall hanging. Look, so where are our birthdays? I'm June, here I am, Alexandrite. Ruby, that's more Madagascan Ruby that, isn't it, with the pinks in there. Uh, Elliot, September, Sapphire. Oh, aren't they just, so first of all, you got the there, and then you got that, and then you got these down the side here. But you, for twenty seven ninety eight, you don't just get that; you also get half meter of the, half meter of the fabric as well. Oh, so now do we sell this by the half meter? Oh, what, I'd love a shirt. Oh, I would love a shirt made out of that. They're not buttons, Hannah. They're gemstones. They're round, brilliant, cut, 57 facets. Was 57 in a brown, brilliant? Round, brilliant? Anyway, round, brilliant, cut. You wouldn't, you know, the thing is, you can't really do tourmaline in a round, brilliant, cut. Where's tourmaline? There it is. Oh, they've done shimoya rubelite for tourmaline. Oh. Where's tanzanite? Tanzanite's December, isn't it? Oh, they put zircon. Oh, ratnakiri, they've put. That's a ratnakiri zircon, that one. Beautiful, isn't it? I love Peridot. Aren't they lovely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, aren't they? It is Madagascan. That's a Madagascan ruby because it's more pink than red. Yeah. Look, I love those. So you buy that for £27.98. pence. You can then buy, if you want, the bundle. Now, you don't have to buy both of them. You can just buy that and that'll be the end of it. If you buy this on its own, 41.88. We're going to have to work this out for you now. Right. Okay. So this is, look at these, half meter. All these, and now, aren't they gorgeous colours? Absolutely stunning colours, look. Right. Hang on a sec. So if you bought that on its own, £41.88. Right. If you buy them together, without the discount, on me, Elliot. 69.86, right? Take out the 30% oh, is about 20 pounds. Hang on. No, shut sh sh up, John. 30%, 10%. How much would the whole thing be? 69.86. So multiply 10% would be six pounds, wouldn't it? So you get 21 pounds. You get 21 pounds off to you, is that right? Yeah, you get £21 off. Right, Elaine, I'll measure the panel for you now, my love. Tw you get £20.95 off if you buy both of them. So, yeah, that's brilliant, isn't it? So, that bundle there is £41.88. Right, then put the other panel in, because I've got to measure it for Elaine. Vida says good morning. Morning, Vida, my love. 
Right, hang on, there you go. So this one here, whoop, the fabric will be 44 inches wide, I imagine, this one. Is the panel measurement in? No, it's not. I'll do that for you. Oh, yeah, look, 90 centimetres. 90 centimetres. So it's 44 inches wide. So that's your half a metre of fabric that you get. So it's half a metre by 44 inches, right? That's that one. So this one is 44 inches by uh, 90 centimetres. Yeah, that's 44 inches. Then the actual, well, it's um, 35 inches, it is. 35 inches. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So by that and that for 27.98, that, that, 27.98, by this, for 41.88 so you add them together and that makes 69 69 what sorry 86 69 86 but if you buy both of them you get 30 30 percent off that's a third of the price almost a third of the price off 20 pounds and 98 pence you save 28 20 pounds let's say that again 95 20 pounds and 95 pence and we've got those lovely gemstone quilting books as well, haven't we? You could use those, Elliot says, yeah. I just think they look lovely together, don't they? Look. Oh, that's joyous from Tuesday, I was going to say Monday morning, then Tuesday morning. It's like a Monday morning for me, though. 48 pounds. What? So you get the whole lot for 48 pounds and 91 pence. Oh, yeah, you buy both, because look, if you that's there, 27.98, and you save 20 pounds and 95 pence. So you almost get... That we get that bundle for eight pounds, don't you? That's what it is. Oh, that's brilliant. Automatically, my birthday's emerald, but I'm not a fan of green, says Jan. Oh, Jan. Well, now, hang on. There's a way around that, because the emerald is from the Beryl family, isn't it? So aquamarine is really blue emerald. See? Just saying, because it's the Beryl family, because it's a aquamarine... Uh, Emerald, Goshenite. Uh, what were the other? What were the other barrels? H Hannah's not good at this because the minute we left Rocks and Co, she just forgot everything she'd ever learned, which wasn't much. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Love that. Love that. Love that. No, fluorite was the yellow one from Cumbria. Cumbria, Cumbria and fluorite, bright yellow from Cumbria. Oh, don't know where that's come from. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've got another bundle here. It's very similar. If you like the feel of that, but don't want all of that, and you want this. Under £10, you get half a metre of your black. And you get half a metre. It's already cut, remember, so if you multiply this one. Now, this one's something to do with the dragon, rainbow dragon, this one's called. There's lots of noise upstairs, isn't there? Look. Half a metre of this, half a metre of that. That is um, 44 inches wide. It's not a fat quarter, by the way, look. That's pretty. Oh, I love that. Love that. Oh, the colours in there. You see, that would go nicely with a big bundle as well, wouldn't it? But there's no discount if you buy both of them. Of course, the stock went straight into baskets. I'm not surprised. Rainbow, oh, kaleidoscope. It doesn't say that on my um, piece of paper. And I don't mean paper, I mean fabric. But I want, just want to show you the selvage. Look. Dragons. Rainbow dragons. Oh, Jan's awake. Sorry, Jan, I forgot to wake you up. Jan's an amethyst. Are they always purple colour on the panel? Well, you can get green amethyst. Can't you? You get purple amethyst, green amethyst, and you get rose to France amethyst, which is a pastel colour, can't you? Marbles is what Jan sees. Marbles. Very colourful planets, Elliot's saying. I think it must be dragon poo, isn't it? I think that's what dragon poo looks like. 
Beautiful, isn't it, though? Look. The black is so intense black, isn't it? And the mix, all those. It's like a black opal. If we're going gemstones, isn't it? All the Ethiopian, black Ethiopian uh, uh, um, opal. Oh, they don't come joined up. Oh, yeah, if you multi-buy, like I said, you, they don't come joined up. They're already cut into their half-metre pieces. So don't think you'll be able to make a frock. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. That is so popular. There's fewer than 20, but there's more than 20 in baskets. So uh, people are going to miss out. Can we do panel for floral fascination? Yes, yes, yes. Look, we love this. <gasps> now I've got I've got fabrics to go with this. I've not got a bundle. Yeah, parts of the range sold out when we launched it. This is new though. It's new. It's new. It's new. It's new. And Alice and Marion. Uh, me too, she says. Oh, she, she doesn't like emeralds either. Need to tell hubby that. Birthday far. Oh, oh blimey, she wants jewellery for her birthday, Mike. Listen, you got spoilt enough with your mug at Christmas. Don't be expecting emeralds for your birthday. Anyway, so I've got fabrics by the half metre to go with this. I haven't got the whole collection, though. Single figures on a panel. What, what? Eight ninety nine. It's good, isn't it? Fabrics by the half metre to go with that one. Big florals on dark blue. That must be this one. Beautiful. Hang on, Elliot thinks this looks like gemstones. It's because it looks like they've got facets in, doesn't it? Gorgeous, isn't it? Floral fascination. Now, we've called it spaced floral. Oh, they haven't got names on, so it's all right. Uh, he thinks it looks like a topaz. Now, I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like that cut that, where they did like, um, vo like a vortex cut. What was that called? It wasn't called the vortex cut. Morning, gorgeous John and team. I'm an August baby, so peridot, but green's not my thing. Oh, you're none of you liking green this morning, are you? We love a green, a bit of green. Uh, love the birthstone bundle. P.S. Keep the pane of glass. They take out the cap. Oh, no, I tell you what, I tell you what, very quickly, who's it? Jill. Jill, it, because it's a modern house, right, all of them are double glazed panels already, right? Do you remember Danny the gardener when I was on the holiday smashed one of them? So we've, it's already cost me 300 and something pounds to have that one replaced, doesn't it? They take the whole section out like that and they deliver a whole new section, right? with the cat flap in it, but you keep this section that they've taken out. So if either you sell the house or the cats decide to move, you know, or, or Cherry wants them back or something, then I take that one out and I put the old one back in. I know. Another thing to store in the garage. I know, six, this is only 6 99 far for me to this one. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable. I'm going to have to move what? No, no, I've got loads of room in the garage because I've got a mezzanine layer. So I'll put up upstairs on the mezzanine layer in the garage. Which one next? P the ver same one, but pink, yeah. The thing is, I've got two garages, right? Because each house comes with two garages. Some people, like um, Sally at number five, has had the middle bit knocked down and one great big door put up. I've got two doors. Um, but it's not attached to house. You don't go through the utility room to get two the garage, you have to go outside to get to the garage, which I was quite surprised about, really. Six ninety-nine. Oh, God, we're moving on already. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Uh, right, so I'll do this one then, swirly, this one. Oh, hang on, I've called. Oh, sorry, so I have, so I have, so I didn't see that one. Big flowers on cream. Oh, it looks different. Well, it's because it's cream. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, the pop shield's fallen off my microphone, Elliot, because you didn't screw it on properly. Six ninety nine. Beautiful. 
Now, I've got one with like question marks on it in two different colours. In pink first. Righty-ho. This one's pretty. This one's very subtle compared to the rest. Look. There you go. Oh, but look. Some of the question marks are like kind of got different colours within them. Six ninety nine dollars 99 meter. Wisps in water, says Elliot. Or bass clef, says... Oh, yeah, that's very a bit musical today, then. Then we've got the one on blue. That's her singing. Don't do that, then. Make my ears bleed. There's the blue one. I say blue. Is it called... Is it blue? Navy. I will not call it navy. <laughs> Keep going through for these. They're lovely, aren't they? Six nine nine hundred percent cotton machine washable quilting weight. New, 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 new. Floral on white and on blue. Very popular on pre-order. This one on the blue. Now, remember, you're buying it by the half metre. You're buying it off the bolt here. You, if you want three metres, it comes as a three metre piece. My Does your Facebook keep um, jamming at home? Mine is. 6 99 Floral fascination. Small, packed floral on navy. It's lovely, isn't it? And then last but not least. Oh, no. No, I say that. Yeah. Then there's this one. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Packed floral on cream. Yes, it's like these are like when I was like, I talk about this all the time. You you get normal crayon and you crayon all different colours all over, right? Then you put a wax crayon all over the top and you scrape away and you see the beautiful colours underneath. That's what I'm saying, do it at school, you don't do it at home. You haven't got wax cranes at home, have you? Oh, Hannah has. Oh, so is Elliot. Oh, maybe it's just me then. Right, now these apparently are the same range. I've got it on the blue, which ends 28. It's called what? Warpy Blender. How did they know your nickname, Elliot? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's not his nickname at all. Sorry. It sounds like it, but it's not that. Six, yeah. <laughs> right, that's the blue one, Elliot. Then I've got the lilac one. This is called, they should have called this Elliot, shouldn't they? Splodge, this one's called. Warpy Blender in Lilac. Oh, imagine, Elliot, if you got a proper job, you wouldn't have half as much fun. Elliot's moaning that he's got to work with us. I say work, we're doing the work, he's just pressing buttons. And then, pink, I've got Warpy Blender in pink. Try saying that with someone else's teeth in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you, when, my, when my nan was little, they used to have that young, they used to have all their teeth out, didn't they? And they used to have false teeth. It was a thing, wasn't it? What, you, what, what else do you want to? Butterflies. Have I? Oh, yes, 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 have, yes, have, yes. Six ninety nine. Right, I've got to do the butterflies quickly before we go and do the early bird. These are pretty, aren't they? Uh, there's four, Hannah, not three. Yeah, right. Oh, these are lovely. These are brand new to me, these are. Farm Meadow Range. It's new, it's new. I've never seen it before. It's that new. I've not seen it before. Oh, right, Janice, thank you. Apparently new built houses can't have garages attached. Well, it's not new build, it's 20 years old. But isn't that strange? Isn't that strange? 
2796. Oh, I told you. No, no, Lynn, we can't tell him that because last time he said that to him, he got really upset. So we can't say that to him again. 2796. It's there. Look on your Facebook, Anna. Uh, 2796. They're beautiful, those butterflies. Half me to reach. Now, remember, if you buy two, they don't come joined together. If you... Right, now, it's time for the early bird. <laughs> I'm all right, I'm all right. <laughs> Today's early bird should be, if you bought both of these, if you buy both of these at midnight tonight, you will pay 13 pounds and 98 pence. They are Lewis and Irene over the rainbow and Northern Lights bundle. Look, so they're beautiful, aren't they? Uh, look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. They're gorgeous. There's yeah, half a meter of each. There you go. Thirteen ninety-eight is what you'd pay. Now they're already cut. They are already cut, so they don't come joined together. Or, or, even, or even if you buy two, you won't get a meter of that, a meter of that. You'll get two half meters of that, two half meters of that. And we've got to cra crash the price because it's the early bird. Oh, he's off again now, Lynn. 9.98, under 10 pounds. Under 10 pounds. I mentioned if you do EPP, uh, how gorgeous. All the different colours you get, rather than buying a half metre of pink, half metre of salmon, half metre of lemon, half metre of mint, half metre of blue. It's all there. All your colours are there, aren't they? £9.98. And well, where's Elliot going now? <laughs> 9 98 Elliot's on a very high fibre diet at the moment, everybody. Oh, well, he stinks of garlic and chilli tonight. There's 22 people in baskets. And, and how many have I got left? Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Make sure you check out. It's today's early bird. I know it's an hour late, but we had the gremlins in earlier. Oh, I've just found another dirty cup. I came in this morning, right? And I started tidying up on the... Has someone lowered this table? It looks much lower than normal, doesn't it? Or have I grown? Um, anyway, I found dirt... I, I, I said to Hannah, look at this, look at this, there's two dirty cups under here. She went, yeah, that's Rebecca Reed. There's another one here. How many cups of tea... Or coffee it is. How many cups of coffee does she have during a show? Oh, and it's just spilt everywhere. Anyway, 9.98. I didn't know our car park was on a slope. So I was helping the man who comes to get the trolleys, because you know we have to pack everything away and put it on the trolley, it goes off to the warehouse. I pushed out the door and said, here's the trolley, like that. And it just carried on going, and then it just tipped over, and everything from that day's show just went, oh. And then I just went indoors. Elliot picked it up. 9.98. Morning, John. This would be nice for landscapes. Love the colour shirt on you. Kate, oh, Kate, I meant to email yesterday. She sent me some. It's not called Giggleberry, is it? Hang on. Chuckleberry. Chuckleberry jam. Oh, I ate it yesterday. It was delicious. Chuckleberries, they're fruit halfway between a something and a something. They make you laugh. <laughs> no, they don't. Right, 9.98. Come on, look, look, look at the time. Look at the time. Look at the time. Make sure you check out on this. Coming up after the break, Sally Ann is making this quilt. Don't deep sigh, Elliot. It's part of your job. Sally Ann is making this quilt. We've got it in five different colourways. <laughs> oh, you're still upset by your comment, Lynn. Uh, the truth always hurts, so doesn't it? Do not go anywhere. We will see you right back here in four minutes from now. Hi, everyone. I'm Sally Ann Harrison, and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic, um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol, 
um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlay thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with a sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. Uh, but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas. So do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. We are moving home. From Wednesday the 26th of January, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane are moving to Freeview Channel 73. We will still be on Sky Channel 670, YouTube and Facebook Live as normal. It's only the Freeview Channel that is changing. Keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook, Instagram and our email newsletter for more details. And if you watch us on Freeview, don't forget to tune into Freeview Channel 73 from 8am on Wednesday the 26th of January. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Elliot, ignore it. You're brilliant. Elliot's written this. If it wasn't for you, sometimes they wouldn't be on air. Well, no, Elliot built it in the first place, you see. So Elliot's all to blame anyway. Right. And they're always Elliot related, the problems. Uh, oh, I was going to say hello, say hello to Sally, but she's walked away. <laughs> she's walked away. Come back, come back. Morning. Uh, morning, morning, morning. Big wave for Jan. Uh, she's already awake. Is she? She's awake, she's awake. Just go like this. Uh, I always seem to do that. Oh, no. I know. That's why it's gone now. Right, okay, that's, that gorgeous quilt. We'll show you pictures, we'll show you pictures. It's made, well, three of the bundles are made with Sally Ann fabric, which we'll talk about in a minute. There's the pink version. Right, pink version, fabric, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, okay. graphics coming in first of all. Now, you get five and a half meters. You get 63, apparently. <laughs> 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 no, that is oh, oh, that's the size of the quilt, 63 and a half by 63 yes. and a half. Right, what you get is you get a metre of Sally Ann by Liberty. <laughs> metre of Sally Ann. You get a metre of the pink and you get three and a half metres of the ivory. Sticker, not what it looks like fabric-wise. We had a bit of an issue this morning. But what you definitely get is three and a half metres of ivory, one metre of pink, one metre of Sally Ann, and the instructions. 
Gorgeous. That's the one that's on the wall. It makes that quilt. 63 and a half by 63 and a half inches. There it is. You don't get the covered buttons. No. Anyway. That's that one. They're all 55.99, I seem to think. Right. You can also get that in the Sally Ann in the blue. Again, you get the instructions. You get a meter of blue Sally Ann, and you, <laughs> you get three and a half meters of ivory, and you get one meter of the chambray. Oh, sorry, graphic, don't come in. On the website, this looks grey, but it's actually this gorgeous blue. Jan Hill sending you a big wave back. Good. Morning, Jan. Good morning, John and Sally Ann. I always loved sewing, but after a period of time where I wasn't interested in much of anything, I came across Sally Ann and her rope baskets. Now, thanks to her, I've refound my sojo and made so many beautiful things. Thank you, Sally Ann, and to you, John, for making Sewing Street such fun. What a oh, lovely lovely. message. I did. I wasn't yeah. thinking that was going to go that way, but that's lovely, isn't Thank it? Thank you so much. Aww. Uh, anyway, so this one here is a meter of your blue, three and a half meters of your ivory, one meter of your blue Sally Ann. That's her uh, when she's a stand-up comedian. She's a bit blue. <laughs> Not blue like Blue Monday yesterday. Apparently it was Blue Monday yesterday. I was all right. I was all right. But, you know, it's all right. You know. Anyway, 55 99 Yeah, I had a day off. It was very nice. Becky Alexander Frost says, good morning, John morning, and Becky. Sally Ann. Morning. She's waving at you, uh, uh, Becky. Then the other, the other Sally Ann is this one here. So we've got Sally Ann pink, Sally Ann blue. I don't know what colour they call this one. It's a blue, in, blue and black mix, this one. So you get, this one's... That three and a half of your ivory, one of your Sally Ann in that colourway, and one of your lovely blue. There's that Copen. Beautiful. And the instructions, obviously. It's Copen. Plus that colourway. Plus that one there. Three and a half, one, one. Five and a half metres of fabric in total. Beautiful. It's Liberty. Liberty. This is Rosen Hubble. This is Rosen Hubble. That's Liberty. Sally Ann. Named after our very own Sally Ann. Makes the most of Liberty because it really shows it off in those lovely... Now, when you see those shapes, Hannah and I both went, oh, Sally Ann, you've been to Morocco. And she was like, oh, I was thinking Mary Quant. It could be either, either or really, couldn't it? It's lovely. I thought, I thought of Morocco straight away. But it's beautiful. Anyway, they're the three Sally Ann versions. We've also got two other versions. They're both. Oh, black, black here. This one, black one here. The heck. So you get three and a half meters of ivory. This is going to pop, isn't it? You get one meter of black and you get one meter of this one here. Annabelle Bailey, sculpture. That'll look very Mary Quanty, won't it? With the black and the white and then the thing. Good morning, Sally Ann. I love your show, says Pam Minihani. John and Sally Ann, both looking fabulous as always. Fabulous quilt. Love this so much from Kerry. Blimey, there's a lot of Sally Ann love today, isn't there? Sure. Well, it's because after you've already had your blue Monday, you want it's a, a blue one. Sally Ann. That's what it is. And or you get the instructions as well. That one's going to look really dramatic, isn't it? That one. And then the last one, the last colourway is this one here, where you get three and a half metres of your ivory. You get um, a metre of your, I want to say marine, but it's not marine, it's sapphire. Let's get, oh, it's marine, I was right, I was right. Marine, and then you get a metre of your Caroline Campbell. Oh, hang on, that last one was called Caroline Campbell sculpture as well. Oh, it was Annabelle something sculpture. Sculpture's the colour, because that's right, this Liberty went in sculpture. Uh, it went in the three different arts, didn't it? Watercolour and all that sort of thing. I know, thank you, Elliot. Thank you, Elliot. Uh, plus the instructions. It's like working with little Paul all over again. Morning, Sally Ann. Don't know about Blue Monday, but I certainly had a purple day on Saturday. Sally Ann will probably know what I mean. Yes, I do. Well done, you. Mm. All right, then. Keep it amongst yourselves. That's <laughs> fine, then. Anyway, there are your five different colourways. Before we go any further, I just want to ask you about the Sally Ann fabric because I just go, 
It's named after our Sally Ann and that's it. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? Yes. So um, it's a case of every year Liberty um, may put on offer the chance to actually name a Liberty print. Right. In 2021, um, it was part of a donation to a charity. So I donated to, it's the Sophie Hayes charity, and that's how it came about that I actually named a print. Okay, so what's the Sophie Hayes charity then? So the Sophie Hayes charity rehabilitates women that have been through trafficking and it's anti-slavery and that sort of thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I think Jenny Smith is also involved. There's something... Um, she's very liberty. She's yeah. range. She, mm. she works with liberty a lot, doesn't yep. she? And David? there's even a quilt. There's the, a quilt called the Freedom Quilt, which you can sponsor, and they're a bit building up to actually raise money oh, for the charity. Oh, that's fantastic. So, yeah. I mean, not only do you have a liberty fabric named after you, but you, don't, don't, you also donate it to that yes, it worthy, is. worthy cause. Yeah. You see, I was just shouting, it's, it's our Sally Ann, it's our Sally Ann. No story, <laughs> just went for it. It's Sally Ann, it's Sally Ann. What a lovely story. Yeah. That. So, so, and, um, and uh, it must be lovely because that'll be called Sally Ann forever now, won't it, that fabric? Yes. Oh. Right, good. okay, then go on with the quilt, girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yep, usual sort of set of instructions, just going to sort of flip through, you know, with... Okay, now you've designed this, haven't you? This yes. is your design, yeah? Yeah, so I've designed it from scratch. I love piecing curves. So, right. Yeah. So yeah, I've designed it from scratch because around the fact that I love piecing curves, but I've tried to make it multi-level. So I'm going to show you four different ways of achieving the same effect. Basically. Oh, okay, brilliant. Okay, so that it's suitable for beginners, it's suitable for intermediates, people that want a bit more of a challenge. It sort of covers all bases. Lovely. And also, it's very flexible from the point of view that you can, um, you could make it all. F I mean, I'm calling these bits stems. Right. But you could make it all flowers. For have a you start. got enough fabric to make it all flowers? Do you think? I would have thought so, yes. Yeah. yeah. You could make it all flowers. You could... Um, you could make it all stems if you wanted to. We could make all stems <laughs> if you wanted to. Um, you could make it into, and I actually put this in the instructions, you can make it into like a nine, so it's nine blocks, and that would be like perfect sort of quilt size. Obviously, don't include the buttons if you don't yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but that was me getting carried away because obviously I'm a really big Liberty fan and one lot of Liberty wasn't enough when I realised that I had Liberty buttons as well, so I just self-covered some buttons oh, and of added course. those on. So what, what, what's a block then? I can't so see a where the block, block is. So a block is here. Oh, I see, block. okay. And then this is the next block with the, stem, the, is the, with the stem on, yeah. So and you, have you quilted them differently or are they quilted the same? No, it's all quilted the same, it's just straight lines. How It looks really, really uh, effective though, doesn't it's it? It's very touchy-feely. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, People that know that they mean the group, and they, I like I like to add texture rather than a, a secondary design through quilting, and this is a way of adding a sort of scrunchy antique texture. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So now, okay. which one so, are you? Can I ask which one? There's an issue with which one you're. Right. Okay. So which one are you? Are you um, demonstrating with? Is it this one here? So yeah, I'm going to do both. I've got both of them. I've got. This okay, one. okay, this we're on both, uh, so on both of these, I don't know if the uh, information on the website is wrong, what you get is you get one metre of the chambray, three and a half metres of the ivory, and one metre of the Sally Ann. It's been photographed a different way around, so basically this is your background, all of them, all of the quilt kits today have a background of ivory. Every single one of them has a background of ivory and then your stems and your flowers will be the blue and the Sally Ann and the same with the pink one that we're about to do. The pink one, your background will be ivory and your stems and your flowers will be the pink and the pink Sally Ann. Yeah, yeah, we just said that. Yeah. Right, okay, so where do we start then? Sorry, I confused you then. So oh, I, you? I have a sample um, which is in the pink, right. but I am demonstrating in all the blue pieces. Oh, that, that's fine, that's yeah. fine, but they're the two big, big... What, what happened was, I'll just be honest with you, a, a warehouse sent us the wrong fabric. Uh, not the wrong fabric, the amount of wrong mounts. So every single quilt kit, you get three and a half metres of the ivory, one metre of the Liberty, and then one metre of the black, the blue, the pale blue, or the pink. That's the way it works. So they... Go on, we had a lot what? Oh, we can! Instructions on their own. Sorry, I'll just do this Sally Ann quickly and then we'll and then we'll move on. You can have the instruction on their own if you want the instruction on their own. $9.99. Now remember, every time you buy a Sally Ann pattern, <coughs> whether it's from us or whether it's from uh, uh, Sally Ann herself, right? 
on the back page, she's just checking that yep. she's put her email address. You can email her and say, oh, well, Sally Ann, I've bought the Sally Ann Liberty flag quilt. And she will add you to a private gang. A little club community yes community. where we share share our makes you know there's extra tips and it's always lovely to see other people's makes in different colors but it it's a completely you. and utterly private yes, absolutely. <coughs> facebook yeah. page so if you're worried about facebook nobody else can go in there apart from people that sally ann has invited to be in there so yeah. it's not one that everyone in the whole world can see it's literally only the people who are red sally ann has registered for it yeah right i'll let as you go what is it, what is oh, go i think the phrase is what happens in the group stays in the group oh Okay. Okay, right, let's get now going. Now do some sewing. <laughs> so, yeah, I was just going to flick through the pattern. So, yep. the usual setup with the pattern with lots and lots of pictures because I'm a, a bit of a pictorial learner. Um, and it gives you two distinct ways of actually making the quilt, quilt piecing it, and it goes all the way through piecing the quilt, and then it goes all the way through appliquing the quilt. Yeah. Yeah, two completely different methods. Brilliant. And then at the back, so are all the of the templates. methods that you're going to show us now are all in there, are they? I'm no, I'm going to sh in here is the fusible web applique and also the um, three pin piecing method. Okay, but you're I'm going to show, show you the three pin piecing method and the gluing me Perfect. method. So I'm going to add one, yeah, and the fusible applique and the um, turned edge applique with invisible, um, fantastic, machine. yeah, lovely. Okay, um, yeah, so the templates are all make sure if you're going to put these through your printer yeah. so the templates are actual size right. if you're going to put it through your printer like onto freezer paper because you can get the freezer paper can't you know that goes through yeah make sure that you've got it set at 100 percent. okay so the number of times i've done that you know because i don't think mine does i might just have an old one i don't think mine does different sizes mine just does what it does mine automatically defaults every time to 97 percent. oh, to, oh yeah. maybe mine's at 97 percent. then i don't know yeah i'll so, have to have a look when i go home okay Right, so let's get on with the... Yes, please. So, going back to the sort of anatomy of the block. So, here is the block. And essentially, if you, if you piece it, it's, an, it's four by four. Does that make sense? So, it's one, two, three, four by four units. It's a right. four by four. It's what we call a 16 patch. Uh -huh. But if you use applique, then you're going to end up with one, two, three rows of three. Oh, okay. Because this one is pieced as one unit right okay so we're going to piece that one petal just as it is there yeah. but using the blue fabric brilliant just need and to warn you that the one that's on the wall behind sally ann half the stock is in baskets already okay so this is the fusible oh whip. just take us out completely elliot <laughs> <coughs> right Okay, so for people that haven't used it before, so this is um, fusible web, so it's paper that you oh, can... Oh, yeah, bond web. Yeah, yeah, bond web that you can buy. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to trace off the petal template onto the paper side, and then it's got like a sticky side. Yeah. And then you're going to stick it onto your um, petal piece and iron it on. But you're not going to cut it out on the pencil line, you're going to cut it out outside the pencil right. line. Okay, so it's just got a hot iron. So I'm just going to fuse it. So this basically just puts a layer of glue on the back of your piece. Okay. Can't be lost. I'm just deciding whether or not to go for scissors or a rotary cutter. I'll just go for scissors. Right, so I'm just going to cut it out now right. on the pencil line. So yes, you could do this with scissors or a rotary cutter, it depends. Uh -huh. So now you are cutting it out on the line. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So then you're just going to peel off the back. Back just peels away. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to fuse it into the middle of this piece. So I would just finger press. each piece so that you get it central. Mm -hmm. So there we go. I'm going to sit it right down into the seam allowance as well. I'm not going to have it oh, okay. up yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. I'm going to sit it right down into that seam allowance. So the template includes the seam allowance yep. then, yeah. I'm just going to fuse it into position. 
right and then I'm going to stitch it in place you could use like a satin stitch or a blanket stitch I found a nice blanket stitch on this machine uh -huh. so I'm going to go with that so that was no two okay the 580 machine that Sally Ann's using we've got later on the 12 o'clock hour Hi, John and Sally Ann. You both look lovely in your outfits today. The quilt is so pretty and delicate. Gorgeous, says Gerardi. Thank oh, you, Gerardi. Thank you. Okay, I've started off with the blanket stitch. At the moment, it's on 2.5, 2.5, which uh -huh. so it's quite a square stitch, but I'd turn it up to, ha to sort of feature it and have it a little bit bigger. Okay. So I'm going to turn it up to three, which is what I'd probably do at home. Yeah. What you should do at home, though, is just before you get set off with the real quilt, just get a bit of scrap fabric just to make sure you're happy yeah, with the Yeah, play size. around with the stitch. Yeah. And also, I don't know how to do it on this machine, but um, you, is there a facility to actually put the needle to the far right? It helps you line up mm -hmm. the edge of the stitch. So I don't know if you can be able to see, but... Basically what I'm doing is I'm going into the blue applique piece and then landing my needle every time in the white background. Uh-huh. Okay. And if I wanted to pivot, I would stop with the needle to the far right and pivot that way, lifting the press of foot to get a mm -hmm. really nice curve. So it works the same as sat satin stitch. Always stop. Let's see if I can make it stop in the background fabric and then readjust. Yeah. Especially if those stitches are nice and tight together with a satin stitch, they're tight together and you don't want them to split as you go around the curve. Of course, yeah. Okay. So you can see what that looks mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Let's oh, move it over here. oh, hang on. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So that's method one. Lovely. Okay, so you would you would do all four outer petals that way, and then the inner circle. Um, if you're going to do the inner circle this way, I would recommend that perhaps you interlined it, put some lining between it to stop to stop the um, the blue Salian fabric bleeding through. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's worth. <coughs> so what I would do is I just cut like a white piece. Yeah, you don't mean bleed through as in when it's washed. You mean just see through the pink. Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it would it would show through and it would ruin the. the yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. So what I'd be tempted to do, um, this is just me adding my yeah. idea now. Yeah. Is like when I do something like that, I like to put two circles together. Yeah. Of the pink go round it, slice the back one, turn it through, and then where you're satin stitching around the edge, you're yep. saying you've got a clean edge to follow anyway, and you've got your, then you've got your double layer of pink as well, so you wouldn't see the floral coming through. Oh, I like that. And also, it gives you a little bit of a puff, a little bit of a puff in the middle, doesn't it? Oh, no about that. It does, it puffs up. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, or or if you're being really clever, you could put a layer of wadding in the middle there and it would just give you that little bit of, not just a puff in the middle, but a kind of like a little, yeah. what's this called? Foof, a foof, a, a, a foof. souffle, well, a you, souffle. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. And going on from that, you could then quilt it, couldn't you? It looked yes. like trapunto. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You could have like a bit of a trapunto Yeah. Center. Oh, yeah. Uh, cool with that. But anyway, we're getting anyway, carried away. Moving on, moving yeah. on. <laughs> right, so that is the most easy, straightforward way to actually piece the blocks. So okay. that's method one. Okay, let's have a look at a different method. So okay, before you go on, uh, this is a private message now. I shouldn't really be reading this one out, but Pauline says, John, can you ask Sally Ann with a mini button and bows quilt, which wadding and what size do I need, please? I have the pattern on the way. Okay, just the crib size. Um, and I, if crib it's, size, and crib if size. It's, it's, if it's gonna be a wall hanging, I'd go for 100% cotton. 100% cotton. There you go, thank you. Right, moving on with this one. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replicate the the center. So this in this in this yes, this yes, center. Yes, yes. So we move to a different colorway. Yeah, now, in a yeah. different colorway and a different way of actually doing some applique. So all I've got here, so I've got a cardboard circle which I've just hooked off my pattern, traced it off. Okay. And if anybody wants a tip on sort of tracing things off, what I tend to do is I use freezer paper to trace it off yeah and then I iron my freezer paper onto my cardboard right and then I cut out around that 
So it's a way of transferring it exactly. over. Exactly. Because freezer paper, as you know, will stick. So good mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, I might need you to move it to your where your pink one is at the moment. To you where you're working on the blue one. Just move it across to the left a little bit where okay. your pink one is. So it's central in the picture. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you. Right. So, yeah, so here's my template, my applique circle. So all I've done is actually cut probably about, um, I don't know, three-eighths, nearly a quarter of an inch uh -huh. extra around. Yeah. And then I've just started to put in a running stitch. This is a really quick, straightforward way of doing things. Right. The thing to remember when doing this, though, so I started it, I've just got a knot in the beginning, lots of little stitches, is to make sure your stitches are small. You don't want great big stitches. So my stitches are probably about an eighth. Yeah. So I'm just weaving it in and out all the way around the edge of the circle. Uh -huh. So it's like when you do a covered button or a Suffolk puff or something like that. Yeah, it? exactly. So I'm just going to sew the rest of the way. Don't worry, I've sewn some of this already uh -huh. when I was sat in the green room. And, but just so that you get an idea. Uh, and and she's put lovely demo from Sally Ann as always. Not changed the ironing mat yet then. <laughs> I know. There's none in stock. And in fact, I spoke to Jill Rep yesterday from June Taylor. Forgot to mention it. Yes. Forgot to mention it. You okay. see the, the uh, mat is filled, not your mat, the mat of no, things. No, but it does look very much like my one at home. Yeah. I managed to burn mine the other day. Well, it's it's because we burn it and we um, put a bond web on it and we put spray on it and everything. Anyway, sorry, so you've gone all the way around the edge yes. of your stitches. So I've got my cardboard circle. I'm going to put that in the middle. Yeah. And then I'm just going to grab hold of those two ends, the end with the knot. Uh-huh. So I've used some extra strong thread as well with this. Of course, yeah, button thread or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you don't want it to snap. So I'm just going to tie it in a little knot and pull it together. Now, at home, uh -huh. I, I would iron this on my chopping board. Why? <laughs> because I, so if I iron it on here, which is absolutely fine, which I will do, um, there's a little bit of give there. Yeah. yeah? Whereas a chopping board, you know, just like you would use in your kitchen, yeah. if you put it on a chopping board, you're going to get it really flat. Do you put a tea towel on the chopping board first? No, just grab hold of the, the chopping board. A wooden board. chopping board, a wooden let's say, not a plastic board. Yeah, a wooden chopping board yeah. and go for it. But Mandy Shaw, when she does her uh, iron-on template, she always says do it on a solid surface, like a, like a chopping board. Well, but she puts a, Yeah, she puts um, a what's it on, a, a tea towel on first. Okay. Right, so let's just. Elliot says he feels he'd have to do two rows of stitching because he thinks he'd pull too hard and break the thread. <laughs> so I tend to set it out like this and hang on to the thread. His threads. pulling days are over, though, he says. His pulling days are over. <laughs> okay. I think the iron just woke up then. Another way of doing it, and there are, is to actually use a little bit of. Um, oh yes, I like that method. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Carter showed me how to do that one. Literally, you just use a. Um, yeah. So instead of putting the thread in, what I could have done is gone round the edge and used some um, tin foil. Yeah, it's just it's just your kitchen. It's, it's just, just your ordinary kitchen, kitchen tin foil. Yeah. And so you just nudge it over the edge. Yeah. So you use your cutting board and you use a. Uh, Kitchen foil. So do you do what you're saying in your kitchen these <laughs> days then? Yeah. But, yeah. So you, you can get the, the idea. Because what what the it's aluminium, isn't it? What it does yes. is it increases the heat in that area, which gives you again yeah. gives you a really crisp edge. Apparently it conducts the heat. That's what we've just oh, been is told. It? Yeah, okay. I wouldn't know either. Right. Mark Francis says hello team and Sally Ann. Morning. Hope you're all well and keeping warm. It's freezing. It is freezing. It is freezing. I was freezing fog on the way up. Yeah. I said to you it was horrible. Okay, so fabulous. A little press. So what I'm gonna do now is just gonna cut the stitching line. Yeah, don't forget to take the cardboard out. Yeah. You say that I have a quilt at home, um, which I've left a, uh, which is f which is finished, and it's got tiny little 
a My Life template still buried in it. No. Yeah. Goodness knows where are they, but it's definitely gone in that quill. <laughs> So yeah, a bit of spray starch might help as well to uh -huh. help it keep its shape. Right. Let's get rid of those ends. Okay. Uh, Louise says the beechwood press clapper used in dressmaking would help press the circle in the absence of a choppy board. Yes. Louise, good idea. Yes, Very good, good thinking. Idea. Yep. So again, I'm just sort of finger pressing a light crease down the middle so uh -huh. that it helps me position it. So I put it in both, both ways. And the same with the circle. Just about to see those. Uh -huh. Okay. Then it is just a case of put a few pins in it and uh -huh. sew around with your stitch of choice. Right. Now, just put a few in. Now, Elliot says, this is Elliot, the sewer member. Could you put bond web on the back of the circle and stick it down like you did the arched bit, the curved bit before? Yeah, you could do. Yes, Elliot, you could do. But. I think that, that's a good point. He, he just made me sort of think about it. Thinking about it and. And I showed you how to do the fusible. Yeah. One of the things that I didn't do with that demonstration, which I was, would definitely do, is I, I tend to cut away the middle. So you know I showed you a whole piece of fusible web. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, if I was going to put it in a quilt, I think I'd probably cut away some of the middle. So, so it's it just the edges yeah, that stuck down. Because like Elliot just said, just imagine if you've got fusible web under all of that circle, that makes it quite sort of in, not flexible anymore. Yeah, Elliot, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, it's a good point. No, so don't say it's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> so if you just have it around, like looking at this circle, about an inch all the way around the edge. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Okay. Yeah, but you didn't say that, Elliot. Well though, done, did Elliot. <laughs> Elliot the sewer, that was a tip from. Okay, so. Right. Right, so what are you doing now? So then? if I was going to stitch this in place, I'd probably stitch it by machine um, using my very favourite YLI invisible thread. Uh -huh. Okay, and I would use a. Um, we talked about this, didn't we? A, a zigzag or a or the blind hemming or the blind stitch, hemming yeah. stitch, yeah. which I would set royally narrow. So yeah. I'm not going to put this on the machine. I'm just going to give you a demonstration using ordinary threads oh, yes, and what yes, it yes, would yes, look yeah, like. But that's what you would use in real life. Yes, yeah, so yeah. on the top, not in your bobbin, on oh, okay. the top. And if you ever have problems with this sort of invisible thread. I would recommend that you use a thread stand to get it to your machine. Yeah, so it's rather than being on the machine, rather yeah, than being, yeah. because it helps get rid of the twist in yeah. it or throwing it in a cup or a mug. Yeah, yeah. those, those uh, machines come, does it, does it have to be a high one or can it just be a standy-uppy one? Just a standy-uppy one. Because those machines come with a standy-uppy well, one you that go. you can put in be and then, work, or like you say, put it in a cup up behind your machine so it yeah. comes up that way. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So let's see if we can find the, okay, so I've got a blind hem. You're in the right zone mode. Yeah, I think so. I'm still in two. Yeah. Yep. Um, and cu currently this is one, one. So it's Quite a stitch small. length of one and a stitch width of one. I think I'll just turn it up a bit. So I'm, I've made the width about 1.2. Uh-huh. So if you use the blind hem stitch that's there make sure you, you go right as close to the fabric as possible that's right isn't it yes so and yeah and set, if you can set your sewing machine up with the uh, machine needle to the far right that helps as well yeah. so i'm just gonna fiddle it to see where it actually lands Perfect. so that is really tiny so let's take it up a bit bigger so i'm now going up to about 
Okay. It's better. And again, stop each time with your um, sewing needle in the background fabric, not in your applique piece. And if you've got a knee lift as well, that'll make a difference doing this. Uh huh. Sally Ann's using the blue um, watercolour garden Sally Ann. That's the, the, the one where you get the blue, the ivory, and the blue Sally Ann fabric in the kit. Yeah, it's here. I've got it here. I've got it here. Just while we're stitching that, you won't miss anything. So, you get the instructions, and then you get uh, one metre of the blue chambray. You get three and a half meters of the ivory, and you get one meter of the sal. This is called Sally Ann, that named after our Sally Ann. Sally Ann of the uh, Liberty print there, uh, and the instructions fifty five ninety nine. So your background is the ivory. Your stems and your flowers are the blue or the blue. The pink one that's on the wall, which is this one. Oh, if it's in your basket, more people got that in your basket than we've got stock of. Please make sure you check out on that one, otherwise you're going to miss out, right? Three and a half metres of your ivory, one metre of your pink, one metre of your pink Sally Ann. Okay, back to Sally Ann for the time being. Okay, so those are your uh, are two applique options. Obviously, there's other options. You could, like, you could do needle turn, mm -hmm. you could do turned edge, you could do the pull-through method that you talked about. Lots of easy ways to applique it and nice gentle curves to, to deal with, nice yeah. big curves. Perfect. So okay. they're the applique versions. Yes, right. And we need to get a shimmy on now if we're going to get all the other ones done. Okay, so let's... So here it is in blue. Uh -huh. This is the pieced one. Oh, it looks love. It looks really lovely in that. I mean, I like the pink one that you brought in this morning, but that blue is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I think that might be my favourite Sally Ann one of okay. the three colours. Can can you see that it's like it's built on a four by four, so it's sixteen little blocks that uh -huh. are joined together. And I'll show you the back as well so that you can see the way that it's been joined together. Funny is it, because from the back you look like those, look like the, uh, the um, Drunkard's Pathways ones aren't meeting, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Um, so in my actual version of the quilt, can you see that I've, had, I've actually pressed all the seam allowances in uh -huh. so that it would raise the petals. But in this one, I thought it was an opportunity to show you the technically correct way, which is to actually nest the seam. So it's, pressed inwards towards the quarter triangle yeah. there and then out in outwards. the next one so that they nest and that gives you perhaps a special you know a better curve at that point mm. but also but it then it doesn't give you the puff but it also gives you no but it also gives you an optical illusion doesn't it like if you look to the back of that you think oh she's made a right old mess of this one it doesn't <laughs> doesn't match anywhere does it but on the right side it's completely exactly yeah. where it's supposed to be yeah so okay so, so is that what we're going to do this yes. for this time Brilliant. yeah so, a lot of people are frightened of these curves, aren't they? Yeah. Ooh. So now, so frightened she's lost them. Lost my background squares. Okay. So now, so, is there a template? Yes. In the so pattern? the templates are in the back of the pattern. Brilliant. So I'm just gonna irons the templates on. So I've already cut them square. Right. 
So that one on the top there, is it's not bond. It's freezer paper. It's paper, is it? Yeah, it's freezer paper. Oh, freezer paper, so it's going to stick on. Yep. Well, I'm hoping it's going to stick on. Oh, you switched your iron off. Yes. <laughs> that could be what it is then. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, no. And there it decided to go for it. You're all right, do you need some blue? It's all right. Uh, okay. Yeah. You sure? I think so. Just be on the safe side. There you go. Okay. And we, we wonder why the board gets brown like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again with a different Try again, piece. we've got another one. Yeah. Funny that that suddenly just started to... Oh, it, I know, it's because you just switched it on, wasn't it? Yeah. I didn't even realise there was water in it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. There we go. Who'd put water in it yesterday? Oh. <laughs> Elliot's okay. taking the blame for that. See? <laughs> right. And then the quarter circle. Right, so you've taken, you put the outside curve on the ivory yep. and the inside curve on the pale blue. Yep. So I'm going to just oh, cut. Oh, now rotary cut on this one, not scissors. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you, but I would use a rotary cutter. Um, and you're using a smaller blade on this one. Is that a 28 yeah. blade? That yes, you've got it there? is, yeah. Yeah, with the curves okay. easier. The 28 and the 18 are much easier with the curves, aren't they? Okay, where's my pins gone? Am I still in the right shot now, or do I need right, to... Right, where, where would you like sally Ann to be, Elliot? To your left a little bit, please. My left. left. Your left, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move it along here, yeah? Yeah, perfect. Keep going a bit further. Lovely, perfect. Okay. Right, so these are my two pieces. I'm not quite sure how they can perform now. They're a little bit wet. Yeah. But we will go with it. So this is the, the three pin method. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finger press them. Yeah. Here. Let's get rid of those pieces. To the centre, yeah. Yeah. And the same here. Okay. And then I tend to match those to that. Can you see that? So I do yeah, because you're doing two, two, two curves going in completely different directions, yes. don't you? So I've got a line going, bisecting this piece and a line yeah. bisecting the other piece. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put them both together with the concave piece on top. And I'm just going to put a pin in. And I'm sort of weaving the pin in a bit. Can you see? It's a very fine pin and I've actually woven it in. And I'm going to go round to the beginning as well. Uh-huh. Waiting for time. Okay. Again, I'm weaving the pin in. Uh-huh. And the same at the other end. Okay. okay. So Change. So that's all you're going to use? That's why it's called the yep, three pin? the three pin method. And um, what are you changing your foot? Yeah, I'm going to change my foot for a quarter inch foot. Right. She says. Okay. Oh, come on, quick message while you're doing that. Sally Ann's precision on the curves is amazing. I still get straight lines going wonky sometimes. The blue design is lovely from Kate. It is, isn't it? I thought I liked the one on the wall, the pink one on the wall the best, but actually now I've seen that blue one, it's beautiful. It's gonna clear that now. So it's 05, isn't it, on here for a quarter inch? 06, oh no, 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 no. Ignore me, ignore me, my machine's 06. You, yours might be 05 on that okay, one, sorry. So let's have a quick. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, okay. sorry, it's 06 on mine, that's all. Okay. So I would use a stiletto to help me. So what you want to do is you want to sew all the way around that curve using a small 
stitch, so you're going to go slightly smaller than normal, so just under two. Yeah. And you want to keep those edges together. Those edges, can you? Oh, hang on, the raw edges, Elliot. Yeah. Oh, hang on, there you go. Yeah. Those. Okay. Yeah. Right, so it takes a little bit of practice and you get used to it. So, just now I can see the. I'm just going to wind that in because I'm not quite sure how this machine is going to act. So I'm going to take out that first pin. Right. And then, saying that I've put it in the wrong way around, and I catch myself before I fall. You done what? I put it in the wrong way around. It's better to have the the concave piece on the top. Right. So, just repin that end. Right. So, as I said before, I'm going to wind that in a few stitches. And you're just using a tailor's awl, are you, or a quick pick just yeah. to hold it in place? Yeah. What is it we had a conversation, didn't we, last time? Was it an awl or was it a stiletto? And I couldn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or stiletto. I'm just taking the pins out as I go. Mm -hmm. Oops. So if you've got a knee lift again, this is really helpful. Yeah, of course. Just readjusting it. I'm getting rid of the fullness out of the top as I go around. So I'm scooping the fullness backwards, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Just don't go quickly. Just take your time as yeah. you go around the curve. <sighs> Have you come unthreaded? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, can you see? Let's come to your left a little bit, a tiny bit. That's it, yeah, yeah. So there is your curve. So I would decide which way you're going to press it. So I, in this case, I'm just going to like nudge it inwards. Yeah. And then this is what it looks like from the other side. I mean, to give it a good press, those, it, well, you can see they've gone already. Those little, um, it looks like you've got little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not little pleats, but they, they, don't worry straight away if you think. No. Because once you give them good press, like there, you see it all goes lies beautifully and flat then. Okay, so. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Right, so. I'll so that's the three pin method. method. Yeah, I'm just going to show you one more method. Uh huh. So I'm going to. That's going to work. Use out my. Templates. Right. Oh, where yeah. all the water comes spurting out. No, <laughs> it's going to work this time. Oh, Jean's just tuned in. She had a very busy weekend. Jean's got a sewing shop up, up in Durham. So it's worth taking your time when you're... If you're going to use this method, remember that you, it's only going to be as accurate as your templates. Of course, yeah. So it's worth taking your time and getting husband in this case to <laughs> cut them all for you. <laughs> you don't need a husband to do that. <laughs> and then nagging when things go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Is that why he's not here today? Yeah, he's probably worn it. out. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few more. Okay, so this is almost identical, works in the same way. Yeah. You're going to take your glue pen. Glue pen. Go 
glue pen, so line glue pen. You get glue in the pen and you also get a refill. There it is. $5.99. Now it's got blue refill. It doesn't matter what colour your glue is. It all dries clear and there's no difference between the blue, the pink or the yellow or anything. They're all the same strength. I thank you. Okay, so oh. exactly the same idea. So I've bisected the outer curve and the quarter circle with just a, a folded line. Uh -huh. And now... So where some, do you put your glue? So on the segment? Yes, so I'm going to yeah. put my glue on the segment inside the seam allowance. Right. All the way around the edge. And yes, it goes on blue, but don't it dries clear and yeah. it does wash out. And you can, and don't think, oh, am I going to be sewing? If, what happens if my, sew, if my sewing machine needle goes on it? Don't worry, it doesn't clag up your needle at all. So I'm going to use almost exactly the same process. I'm going to get it straight at the beginning, uh -huh. you see, I'm going to pinch it there, exactly where I put the pins, and I'm going to pinch it at the end, Right. and then I'm just going to ease my fingers, hopefully, keep the curve into place, mm -hmm. like so, but as I say, with the first few that you do, you think, oh, this is this is hard work. But once you get going into sort of, it gets easier and easier. Yeah. It's just where, when you work out how how much you have to ease it in yes. and things like that. Yeah. Okay. But make sure you, you don't want the glue really to come outside of the seam allowance. You no. want it in there. It's funny, I did it on two, because I've got two different sewing machines, I did it on two different machines. One machine I found easier to glue and the other machine I found it easier to pin. Oh. So I did a bit of both along the way. And do you know why the re why? Not the really, no. no. Oh. Okay, so again I'm going to put the concave piece on the top. Right. Just re-thread the... Oh, while you're re now, I'll just remind you about that bundle then. The bundle we're working with is this one here. So what you do is you get the um, a metre of the blue, three and a half metres of the ivory, and a metre of the salian. Right, so one, three and a half, one, and the instructions. 55.99 makes a 63 and a half by 63 and a half inch quilt. Okay, back to Sally Ann. Okay. Ooh. I've got myself caught up in the iron. Ooh. Oh. Literally just a couple of minutes. We've just got to go round this and then yeah. that's that done, isn't it then? Yeah. What a lovely colour Sally Ann is wearing today, says oh, Julie. Thank you. It is lovely, isn't it? It's like a soft avocado, not soft avocado. Sage, maybe a gentle sage, <laughs> olive. What colour would you call it, Sonia? Don't know. Don't sort know. Of dust, bought it. What do you say in the catalogue when you bought it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a dusty green, isn't it? Really dusty, yeah. Okay, so there's that one. Let's give you a press. So we'll press this one out just so that you can see the difference. Uh huh. Oh. This iron's... Oh, good. Oh! Yeah, okay. Yeah, something gone dreadfully wrong with that iron, iron, isn't it? Yeah. So I just finger press it out. Get... Yeah. That's right. So just so you can see what it's beginning to look like, because I made some previously. Because obviously this is the reverse. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, because you'll do it with some with the flowers on the outside yep. and the plane on the inside. So here are the ones I made earlier. Oh, now, now move it to your right a little bit. That'd be perfect. Ooh, clunk, clunk. There we go. Brilliant. Oh, it's lovely. Okay. It's very spring-like, isn't it? That one? Do you know what I might be tempted to do as well? 
which is a bit naughty, is I wonder what it would look like if the, the, the half moons around the outside were the Sally Ann, but the square... In, so your middle was the same as it is now, yeah. but you did your half moon oh, okay, yeah. in, in, the, in the Sally Ann fabric around the outside with that. Oh, I don't know. It's up to you. It's your quilt. You do what you want. That's brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. You're back in an hour's time where yep. we're going to be doing all sorts. We're going to be, well, we're going to be doing the cushion, but we've also got the, the, the um, kits for the makeup bag and the apple cushion yep. and... The pink cushion. Yep. <gasps> Thank you very much indeed. It's, it's right. Good. Okay. It's let me just quickly go through all the bundles for you. So what's in at the moment? The bundle we're working with just again. So here we go, which I think is beautiful. So you get one meter of the chambray, three and a half meters of the ivory, one meter of the salian in blue, plus the instructions, 55.99. Right. Fewer than 20 of those, but please check out your baskets. Okay. Lovely. That's beautiful. Then... Sample on the wall is this one. So you get three and a half meters of the ivory, one of the pink and one of the pink Sally Ann fabric, plus your instructions. Uh, Marion says, had to laugh when Sally Ann talked about getting her husband to do things. I panic about cutting out when I'm working without a pattern. So my husband or my son, if my husband's away, end up doing all the cutting out for me. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's the pink one that's on the wall. That's what it looks like. Beautiful. Then the other Sally Ann one is this one here, which is ivory background. Then your stems will be your uh, Cadet, no, Cadet Blue and your beautiful darker floral there. £55.99 for that one. Then I've also got it in, uh, which one in particular? The black and white one next. Black, well, black and ivory. This is lovely. This one's going to be very, very stylish, this one. Three and a half metres of the ivory, one of the black, one of the Liberty there sculpture. Annabelle Bailey sculpture, plus your instructions, 55 99 Remember the finished quilt? Oh, now it's changed shape. The last one was 63 and a half by 63 and a half. That, oh, was it 60 and a half or 63 and a half? It was 63 and a half. I think they got a bit lazy with the typing on that one, didn't they? Anyway, that's that one. And then, oh, what's the matter, Han? Okay, then there's this one here, which has got the marine blue. So you've got three and a half metres of the ivory, one of the marine blue, one of the uh, Caroline Campbell sculpture, plus your instructions, 55 99 now, if you're wanting some backings, I've got some backings. They're only 44, not only, they are 44 inches wide backings, but they're the colours from the quilts. So, chambray is three and a half metres. Looks grey on the website, but it's not in real life. It's that lovely, fresh spring light blue there. 22.93, 44 inches wide, and you're getting three and a half metres of it. Then we've got it in the Cadet, or is that the Marine? No, that's the Marine. Oh, no, hang on. Cadet, Cope, oh, Copen. <laughs> I've got it all. So it wasn't Cadet at all. It was Copen earlier. Yeah, no, it's a Copen. Copen. Three and a half metres. Oh, now you get £1.50 off that one. But the other one was 22 93 as well, wasn't it? Anyway, but anyway. Moving on. And then we've got the pale pink one. Could be interesting, no? Three and a half metres of your pale pink. 22.93, saving £1.50. Gorgeous. Right, don't go anywhere. Coming up after the break, it's me doing sewing room tools. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
Hello, I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher and one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a stripper? Have you become a stripper yet? Or will you become a stripper in the future? That's what I want to know because we got the stripology rulers. Now, the extra large ones came in, sold out. Sold out, we've got to wait for the next one to come in. I have got the Stripology Squared and I've got the Stripology Squared Mini. 
Tripology squared, first of all. Now, I've not got one open here, but if you want to cut out strips, like save time, save time, save time, this is a brilliant ruler for that because what you can literally do is by half, in, uh, by, by half inch increments you can cut, but also if you just want to cut one and a half inch strips, you follow the stars. If you want to um, do uh, jelly rolls or design rolls, two and a half inch strips, you just cut, follow the squares. You literally line your fabric up, get your rotary cutter into the groove and then literally just cut, 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 cut. It saves so much time. And if you've got, um, oh, Stuart did a demo the other day. Stuart demo the other day. Um, you can also got the quarter inch increments on there as well. Can we have some graphics, please? There we go. Forty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Elliot's so busy telling me about how brilliant Stuart was, he forgot to put the graphics in. Oh, Sue joined the strippers at Christmas, and Sue, do you love it? It's very freeing, isn't it? Forty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now I know you think it's oh, a lot of money for a ruler, but actually, when you realise how much time you're going to save, and also on this one, look, you've got all the squares, so you can square off your blocks. You square your solid sizes off in the black, and your half ones in the white. Uh, so if you've got, you know, as you're going along, especially if you're doing something like a log cabin, something like that, you want it to be um, so precise each time. You just square off each block using this ruler. £44.99. Now, I've got a Stripology Squared book here. So this one, it can take you through all different patterns to use from 10-inch squares, right? So it's, the, all these patterns in here are 10 quilts made from, you know, layer cakes or, or um, stackers or whatever the different... Um, uh, designers call them the 10 inch squares multiple size options quick cutting using the stripology ruler now look so from this ruler general instructions stripology rulers how to use the stripology ruler then we have all these designs and it tells you how many to cut out what to cut out and how to cut it out on your ruler so that's that one oh now it says this book is 32 pounds 32 pounds. However, Hannah's got a bit of a surprise for you. Okay, not 32 pounds. Lowest ever price, 24.99. Now this this book is written by the lady who designed the um this Gudrun. So she's done her own book. So look at that. How beautiful would that be? Another part of me that's called. Then, of course, also, if you go to the Creative Grids um, website, you can watch the tutorial on, how, that's nice, isn't it, on how, on how to use the Stropology. This is Quadrants. Or you can scan the QR code. Oh, what, on the ruler? Thank you, Elliot. We normally have our own QR code here that Elliot normally puts in. There it is. That will take you straight to buy this, you see. £32, and Hannah's reduced it to lowest ever price, £24.99. Whatever auction is live at the moment takes you straight to their algorithm. Uh, fractions. I wonder if she likes sums, like maths. <laughs> Ellipse. Takes out the maths for you, Elliot says, this ruler. Prisms. Not the, no, not where you used to be, Elliot. Prism it is. Prism. Polygon. Oh, yeah, the ruler. If you haven't got the ruler, the ruler's there. And the book is. <laughs> I can never get this bit right. <laughs> there. Should be £32. She's reduced to £24.99. Now, that price goes back up at midnight, by the way. Oh, now. I love the extra large, says Sue. Unfortunately, husband... I better read this quietly, actually. Unfortunately, husband misunderstood what I wanted for Christmas and I had to laugh at his disappointed face when it arrived. Oh, yeah. What, well, he thought there was an actual stripper coming round for Christmas. My friends Candy and Stella used to be strippers at the Hofbrau House in Liverpool. <laughs> 24 99 I don't think they'll be doing it anymore because they were older than me and I knew them when I was 19. So, Anyway, 
A big, look at these, look at these gorgeous quilts. The book, half the stock has gone. Twenty-four. Now there's velocity there. It's got. A, it hasn't got the same Labrador on it in in the book. Look. Okay. Prisms. Uh, Elliot just wants to see what was it called. Velocity. It's not even here, is it? There's algorithm. That's like. The, is that a Labrador? It's got a pointy face. There's velocity. It's got a cat on it, look. It's a beautiful, crisp, sunny morning in Camden, says Karen. Oh, the best type, the best sort. Beautiful. If you want the book, it should be £32. It will go back up to £32 at midnight tonight, but it's £24.99 while Hannah's in charge. Oh, now, oh, now, used with the Stripology Squared ruler, by the way, Stripology Squared. Now... I've got a stripology book here. Six favourite strip patterns made with one and a half inch strips. So you could use this only at mini runner. Oh, they can be made in mini runner and crib sizes. But you can use, you can still use your squared off one for this because it's just one and a half inch strips. So you can still use your stripology squared with this, can't you, Hannah? Yes, she says. Yes. $15.99. Sun shining in Garstang, says Lynn. Oh, no, I didn't know this one was being reduced as well. Oh, there we go. 11 .99. Oh, now, very limited. Lots of you bought this already. Now, oh, now, I need to explain. If you did buy this earlier, if you bought it on pre-order, you won't pay the full price. You'll pay 11 .99. Here's all the instructions in here. Where's all the pictures of the quilts? Here they are. They're what? Seven left. There's only seven left now. And there are only eight of the Stripology Squared book left now. They're lovely. There's your different patterns. You can do them as mini, runner or crib size. Look. Eleven ninety nine. Apparently that's, fa that's uh, Hannah's favourite show on telly. I don't know what it is. I always go around people's houses, cribs, houses, yeah. They do in England as well, don't they? Didn't they do all the people like off Towie and things like that? No, or, or Geordie Shores and things like that. I know. I had my house, it's nothing compared to those. I tell you, I had a lovely house. Uh, I can't remember his name. Eleven ninety nine. No, he's a dancer, and he was a judge on the dancing program. No, <laughs> no. Craig Overwolf had, had silver sheets, didn't he? When they did that, when when they did that, Michael McIntyre. Yeah, it'll come to me. He's a lovely boy, anyway. Two left. Two left. No, American, and he's been in Kinky Boots. <laughs> I don't do back. Right, now I've got the Tripology Squared Mini Ruler. Non-slip. There you go. That's how difference in size. Thirty-six nine ten. The smaller version of the popular Tripology Squared Ruler is designed to work with units up to six and a half inches. Whole inch, half inch and eighth inch increments are included. Simply turn the ruler around for quarter inch increments. Squares up, half square and quarter square triangles too. Designed by Gudrun again. $36.99. Anyway, 36 I'm still thinking of that boy's name. Can't remember that boy's name now. Here you go. Uh, I thought this was expensive for a ruler, Ooh. but once I'd got one, my cutting got a lot more precise and I don't dread cutting strips anymore. It's from Kate in Merseyside. 
I think it's one of those things, isn't it? You think, well, I would just spend that much money on a piece of plastic. And then you realise how fantastic they are and how much time they save. And also how much, um, what's this called? You know, like when you're cutting, um, rep yeah, like, rep I don't want to say repetitive strain injury, but do you know what I mean? It's like constant. Whereas this, it's there, ready to cut. <laughs> Thirty-six ninety-nine. Uh, Elliot saying, like the first time you use it, it was thirty-six ninety-nine. Then the second time you use it, you cut that in half, don't you? If you use it every single day, that's a, oh, it's a penny a day. It's a penny a day, isn't it? If you work, if you use it every day, it's a penny a day. Around, 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 for a leap year. Right, where are we moving on to? Five of, now, five or five spray. When you're making a quilt and you're making your quilt sandwich and you want to stick the backing to the wadding and the topping to the wadding, lots of people pin it, don't they? Um, or tack it. This is brilliant. This is five or five spray. Always spray the wadding, not the fabric, just in case. It's a temporary adhesive. You spray it on, you can reposition it, and it's $7.99. Do it in a ventilated room. Okay, Stripology squared or Stripology? Stripology is sold out. And then Stripology squared. Uh, please, please, please check out. We've got this one in your basket. The Stripology squared It's about to go. 24.99. It will go back up to £32 at midnight, if there's any left. No, not Nigel Lithgow, no. Oh, it's a very, oh... He's a young lad, a young lad. He was in Kinky Boots in America. And he's been in all the big shows in America. And he's a choreographer. He does all of Kylie and Britney and... Not Louis... <laughs> not Louis... No, he was on House in the Sun, Homes in the Sun, wasn't he? Oh, Pineapple Dance Studio. We all used to go there when we were younger. 24 99 24, 99. Please, how many are left? Four left. Four left, four left, four left, four left. Right, I've got one other thing to do before I go over to the other table. Now, these are not Pat Butcher earrings. Uh, these are Quilters Rolled Quips. You know when you roll up your quilt to do uh, your quilting on your machine and it gets all, you roll it up and it gets in the way. And this, you literally... Roll it up, put the clips around it, it keeps it rolled up while it's just much easier to put through your, um, put through your... I've just finished cutting out the strips for my Tudor Pink Solar Flare quilt. Thank goodness for my stripology. Without it, I wouldn't have. Right, okay, there are only nine of these left in the whole company. We, well, the thing is, we always reorder it. Barry, the book buyer, Barry, the bald book buyer, he's in charge of replen, right? He always orders them straight away, but it's just getting them from America. It's just getting them from America. Not Jerry Mitchell. Oh, what's his name? I think he's just got one name. Anyway. No, don't know. We'll move on. We'll move on. We'll move on. Elliot's got no idea what I'm talking about. Right, yo. I'm going over to... Oh, I just bit my lip again. What is it? Um, Cat's mum says it's because you're tired. When you bite your lip, you're tired. I'm eating what? It just happened then. I'm not eating anything now. Right, now I know... Oh, she did not burn the car. <laughs> Sally Ann's burn is bigger than Debbie Shaw's burn. Just so you know. On the carpet down here. Can I do what, what? No, to block heads book. Now, I know we said it was tools, but it's mainly books, isn't it, really? And, and gadgets and things like that. So, Moda Blockheads, that's this one. I love this book. This has got so many different blocks in it. 48. 48 quilt along blocks from Moda. Oh, we're crashing on the price. Oh, it should be 18 99 Always has been 18 99 as far as I know. Never been reduced on air before. Sixteen ninety nine. Okay, so now what they did was they are six different um, quilt designers to design uh, the blocks and design a quilt around it. What's the matter, Elliot? 
Yes, I'm going to. Hmm? This is the Blockheads book by various contributors. <laughs> so, here are all the blocks. They're fantastic, right? Because here's... Oh, no. These are the quilts that the six ladies have made, right? That's Joe's. That's Lisa's. That's Betsy's. That one's Jan's. That one's Carrie's and that one's Lynn's, right? And what they've done is they've used all of these blocks to create. Now, I'm just going to have to move that. Um, what's that thing called there? Q that's it. Oh, and that one there. Right, there we go. So that's Aunt Dinah. That looks like, um, it's not Churn Dash, is it? What's the one I'm thinking it looks a bit like? Anyway, that one's 4X. Uh, don't say that to Elliot because he can't drink at the moment. He's on dry January. Whirly Gig. B skep. Uh, coronation. It's funny, I was talking about coronation. I've just I'm writing my book at the moment, as you know. And I was just talking about my nan and my uncle Jack, who lived next door but one to each other, and they lived opposite the cinema and then Coronation Street. They were in St. Mark's Road, and then Coronation Street went down like that. Not the Coronation Street. Anyway, I'll move on. Also, Anna on her diet, she has coronation chicken most days. Turnstile. Penny basket, square in a square. Because these are all not, these aren't all um, just forward, straightforward patchwork. Look, that one's an applique one, isn't it? The bat flower, basket and flower, sorry. Lisa Star, puzzled. Ohio Star variation. Bowtie quartet. Uh, lawyer's puzzle. Uh, then we've got flags. Then we've got T block. No, I can't see. It. Oh, I see. Yes, I can see it. I can see it now. I couldn't see the T's. Isn't that weird? Could you see the T, Elliot? All oh, right then. Then we've got Trail of Fears. Tears, tears, tears. What are you doing then? Anyway, uh, corn, no beans. What did she say? Delphine. Devil's Claw, Night Flight. Oh, she's mostly dropping off what she needs to for Thursday. Flying Geese Variation. Rocky Mountain Puzzle. Bird House. Winnie Con Star. Twice the Friendship. Union Variation. Pumpkin. Elliot. Uh, oh, how do I say that one? Juno. Juno or Juno? Juno. Do you know how to do it? Cat's Cradle. Four patch dash. Then we've got the dot dash. Then we've got the Dutchman's Puzzle. There's loads. There's 48 in here. 48 in there. And then what they do at the back here. They, right, now this is one I don't agree with. If your dog looks or your cat looks like that, I'd get them to the vet now. I've got a vet, um, no, not Alec Mann, not no Jamie Lang, no. I think he's, he's just got one name. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful book. But then at the back here, you see, how, they, how each of them made their quilts. Gorgeous. Uh, and it's been reduced to 16.99. Fabulous. Where am I going next, then? Oh, the paper, yeah. Yes. So here we go. It's the 12 by 12 graph paper for quilters and paper crafters. Four inch block, eight inch block, 12 inch block. Just use it to create your own blocks. In fact, if you're doing cross stitch as well, this is brilliant cross stitch because Jane, when Jane first started, Jane Greenoff first started, she just had graph paper like that and she just drew or she just doodled on graph paper like that. It is great, I like graph paper, isn't it? So you can create your own blocks. I'm just having to tidy up while you're looking at that because it's a bit of a mess, this does. Oh no. <laughs> 
Hannah's put them all in order. No, not Brian Friedman. Single name. Not Rusty Mo Ray. I've never heard of half of these people. Four ninety nine. Because as you know, while H Hannah and I haven't seen each other for ages and ages and ages, right? She's moved her boyfriend in since, and uh, he's brought all his books, and she's not happy because he just put them on the bookshelf. They're in colour order, Hannah's books. So how do you find? If you think, oh, I must just get that book, you have to remember what colour the the spine was. Okay, four ninety nine. You get how many sheets in here? Tw uh, 25 sheets for 4 99 Did you do that on, did you see on um, Instagram at Christmas, somebody did like a Christmas tree with all the green books going down the middle of them. Uh, 4 99 Okay, moving on. Little squizzy, here they are. Now look. Look at these, I have to hold them like this, you see, look. They're thread squizzers on the picture, apparently shows you get two, or oh, three, but it could be any of those three colours. It could be the teal, the pale blue, or the orange. There's no guessing. It's, it's funny, they've sent me two, and they've sent me two teal ones, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. So they've all, they've, uh, that's all they've sent me up. They haven't sent me an orange one or a, 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 another one. Maybe, maybe it's like those ironing board covers we had once. Two ninety nine. These aren't they gorgeous? They're really sweet. You just squidge them like that to cut your threads, and they live happily in there, nice and safe. Two ninety nine. Now I know I shouldn't say it yet. I shouldn't use this word yet. Christmas, Christmas presents maybe, or put it in your in your pre present drawer. Multi buy and put mini track present drawer for your quilting group, your sewing group. Or one for you and get one for yourself as well. Yeah, the drawer in the kitchen that has everything in it, like the little lighter to light your candles with, and your key rings. Oh, Hannah keeps her window keys in hers. I keep mine in my windows. Two ninety nine. Um, I've got um, little uh, sealable bags that I put my boiled eggs in every day in that drawer. <laughs> Elliot has sanitizer in his. Sellotape. Oh, twine, twine. There's two, and there's two builder's tape measures in there. Yeah. Anyway, don't look at me again. Oh, no, I don't have any screws in mine. Beautiful. Two ninety-nine. Thread squizzers. Two ninety-nine. Could it be any colour? Teal, pale blue, or orange. Moving on. Yeah, just add it to your order because you don't pay any extra P P, remember? Right. Diamond Star Quilts book. We love this one. 12 skill building projects. Not Michael Castle, no. 23.99. He's just got one name, like Linford or... Not Linford, because he's not a choreographer. 23.99. Look at them. These are gorgeous, these. Diamond Star Quilts book by Barbara H. Klein. Uh, building your skills, going through all your different... Uh, they're actually... Really, you don't, it, they're so easy. I'll show you how you do them, right? Look, that's, what, that's how they look. But then look how you make them, right? Oh, hang on, hang on. We're going to crash. Today's price, not £23.99. £19.99. £19.99. Sampler projects, look, here we go. You just sew strips together to create these incredible diamond stars. With your stripology. 
or your angle ruler, whatever however you want to do it. Quilts made from strip sets. Look, strip sets. Use your stripper to make your strip sets. Nineteen ninety-nine. Where was he a judge? He was a judge on, there was a dancing show that had Cheryl Cole, the man from Glee, O.T. Mabusi. No. And it was when people danced and if enough people in the audience voted for them, the, wind, the mirrors opened. I loved it, but it was, it's been cancelled. Two series, did two series. No, Cheryl Cole, Oti Mabusi, the man from Glee, and this man that I'm talking about. Oh, question again. Fourteen ninety nine. This is a fantastic book. This one. Look at all the different projects. I'll show you them again at the front. Look. Okay, on the Long River, they've reduced it from twenty three ninety nine to fifteen eighty six. From twenty three ninety nine, they've gone to fifteen eighty six. We reduced it from twenty three ninety nine. That's fourteen ninety nine. Only till midnight. Only till midnight, though. Fourteen ninety nine. It's gorgeous that book. Check out your baskets. That's all I'm saying. If you love your diamond star quilts, do a picture of Barbara. Yep, there she is. Twelve terrific projects. Look, peace diamonds and patchwork stars with no inset seams. That's what we want. Babs. Fourteen ninety nine. Todrick. That's who I'm talking about. He's got a lovely house. Marilyn, Marilyn, no, not Craig Gravel Hall, with Todrick. Todrick. Yeah. Are you talking about Todrick Hall and the greatest dancer? Andrea, I am. Thank you. Yeah, it's not Craig Gravel Hallwood. He was on the Michael, that he was on the show, was it Michael McIntyre, where they break into your house at midnight? That could be so embarrassing, couldn't it? Fourteen ninety nine. I'm moving on. Hmm? Yeah, Karen Todrick. That's the one. Anyway, the reason we were talking about him is he was on Cribs and his house is amazing. How a youngster can afford a house like that, I don't know, but there you go. So easy colour wheel. Now, this is brilliant. Where are my fabrics? I'll go and find them now. Right, when you open this, don't throw away that little bit of red plastic, because I'll tell you about that in a minute. It's what? Thank you, Elliot. I don't know what's happened to Elliot over the four days I've been away. You've changed. Hey, hasn't, he, hasn't he, Hannah? No comment. OK, so where are the solid fabrics, Elliot? I don't want the splodgy ones. Underneath what? Oh, uh, no, they're not solids. I'll do it with one of these, though. No. You can use it for this, but I was good. Right. When you've got a fabric, you're thinking, I need something to go with it, right? You go to your colour wheel. You put your colour wheel on here, and you find the colour that is the closest to your fabric. So, are we thinking... Ooh, now, where are we thinking? Not that one. That one, maybe, that one, that one. Oh, you're, go you're going there. Oh, yeah, 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 there it is. There it is. That's that one. So you've got... <laughs> right. What you do is you turn your wheel like this to the colour of your choice. So you've chosen D in that square there. So it is telling you that D over here, this sort of tan, 
No, I think orange is better, to be honest. But if you think that's D, they're in the same block. So if you want orange, you have to pretend that's A then. Well, it's, you see, that's the problem with splodgy fabric, isn't it? Because if you go there, it's D. If you go there, it's A, orange, you see. That's for your complementary colour. I wonder if I've got that orange. I don't think I have a look. No, it's onto that one there. Too bright. But anyway, so that's your complementary colour there. You've got your tetra triad colour there, which would be your, um, I don't know what colour you'd call that, mustard. Or you've got your secondary complementary, which would be your red. Oh, Elliot's bringing me different colours now. Thank you, Elliot. It's going to take me a while to get through all of those. <laughs> Which colour am I going to go with, Elliot? The red, OK. So you put your solid red. It's red, red. Under there. You find the red that's the closest. Ooh. That one, is it now? That one. There, there. Do you reckon that's the closest? Turquoise. I think it's green, though. I think it's that one there. <laughs> Let me turn that around there. There you go. Anyway, that's the way you do your colour wheel. That's the way you use colour wheel. Then this, when you've got a quilt or you've put lots and lots of pieces together, if you look through a piece of red plastic, they do this on films and everything, it takes out the colour but shows you the tones. So it's a bit like taking a black and white photograph of something you can see so if you look through your quilt like that you could you'll be able to see if there's too much dark in one corner too much light in another too much whatever you just use that uh 6.99 this color wheel oh. there we go i have got some template plastic here for you could you put what back yeah of course Right. Did you see that jewelry maker advertising for a new floor manager? I nearly put something that I decided to against it. Um, template plastic. This is brilliant for you drawing up your EPP shapes or you just need to cut it. Or, you know, Sally Ann was using her, um, her drunkard's pathway templates this morning. You can use that for that. Three ninety-nine. So easy printed plastic template. Is it to replace Laura then? Oh, okay. Um, not Ashley Banjo, Julie. No, we've all decided it's Todrick. It's Todrick. Uh, Viv says, just want to say, John, after you're live on Sunday, one of you ladies help me with the kimono. Oh, Viv, was it Anne? Oh, was it Anna Sewing Nut? Was it Anna Sewing Nut help you? Three ninety nine. Mm? Two sheets you get in there. Two sheets, easy to cut. You can draw on it with a felt pen. But you've got the squares there to guide you if you're doing um, uh, hexes or edge squares and you want it to be solid. Don't, you don't use it for EPP, you just use it for the template to cut the EPP fabric or the, the shapes out of. All the Sally Ann's cut out the circles, yeah. What are you eating? What's Han what, hang on, Hannah's eating something. I knew what? Greek salad. So it's 20 to 11 and she's eaten her lunch already. Right. She what? Oh, she had to at nine o'clock yesterday. <laughs> Quilting, now I'm surprised these are back in stock. Because we had, we had to show the other day where we needed them and they were out of stock. 3 99 these are brilliant. Now they've got little, um, um, what do you call those? Little, not suckers, nodules of uh, silicon on the end there to stop fabric slipping. Uh, take, you can take out the, the stress when you're doing your quilting or you're doing your free motion uh, embroidery, free motion quilting. Um, who was it that was in the other day and they said they never, uh, Helen Newton used them all the time, but someone was in the other day and she put them on and went, we've sold out. 
You haven't been on with them for ages. Was that Alice and Mary and Mary and Alison the other day? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Three ninety nine. Uh, who's that from? Janet, when they schedule it, I'll do it. I have to wait for scheduling. I have to wait for the scheduling. Janet's asked about a specific show we're going to do, and I have to wait for scheduling to schedule it before I can do it. Okay. Uh, Elliot says he'll do it for you. Right, next. Q Embroidery Flowers book with three skeins. Five. Yeah, I, said, I just said three, didn't I? No, I said free. Yeah. Right. You get these for free. One, two, three, four, five. Now, do you get those colours? Random colours, right? Random colours. I quite like those. I'll have those, please. Uh, right. This previously was twenty one ninety nine. If you crash your tail, we just reduced it to eighteen ninety nine. Yeah, so that will stay eighteen ninety nine. That will stay. Oh, okay. So it was how much? Twenty one ninety nine. Already had been reduced to eighteen ninety nine. Hannah's taken another two pounds off. Now that two pounds only stays till midnight. At midnight time, it goes back up to eighteen ninety nine. You want to have a look at it though, don't you? Before you buy it. Beautiful. You get these. You get five free threads, and iron on transfers in there. It's a beautiful book. This one. Trish Burr. Oh, isn't Burr? Um, that's, a, that's a countryside plant, isn't it? A Burr. Oh, look. Yeah, the bits that stick on you. On. You make it so much more than a sewing show. Oh, Deborah, is that a complaint? Is that a complaint? Anyway, should we move on? I think these are exquisite, look. Let's find them. Oh, native lighting lamp. I don't know if it is, but get a native lighting lamp. That, that one, anyway. Beautiful, right? Mount, it's, these are all techniques, right? Instructions. Oh, can you imagine being able to create something like that? Look, tell she has to, oh, look, that looks like yesterday's tooth. Look, aren't these exquisite? The way the colours blend together. Oh, look. Oh, this is, for 16 99 this is just a beautiful book to look at, isn't it? Whether you're going to do embroidery or not. <gasps> Artwork, Elliot said. Artwork. Yeah. Simple project. I mean, it's that simple. Oh, but look how fantastic is this. So it tells you what colours. Every stage of all the different... Oh, that's a bit like when Delphine does the bee wings, isn't it? She does that kind of thing, doesn't she? Oh, certainly not a complaint. Oh, that's all right then, Deborah. Slugs? Are they slugs? No, they're pea pods. Well, you wouldn't eat peas if they came out of a pod that colour, would you? The dried ones are not actual peas. That was my impression of Elliot this morning. What's that then, Elliot? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> I covered up the wrong bit. I was like, what's that? Anyway, come on, let's concentrate. Uh, Pink Campion. Didn't she direct the piano? Jane Campion, that was, wasn't it? Then you've got Snapdragons. Oh, I love a Snapdragon. Pansies, Bumblebee, Sweet Peas. Aren't they just... Beautiful. Look at those. Twenty-one ninety-nine was well, already due to eighteen ninety-nine. So at midnight night, we'll go back to eighteen ninety-nine. But uh, more people got it in baskets, and we've got stock of. I'm not surprised. Look, that's honesty. You know, I go on about honesty all the time. Not being honest. I mean, honestly, the plant. Fuchsia. If little Paul was here now, buy it now. Get it in the fuchsia. Grasshopper. Poppy seeds, rose hips. So excited, just received my photo of John. Oh, I'm ever so sorry, in my mystery bundle. He can keep me company in my sewing room. I won't be much help to you, though. 
Great show, Mandy and Kafili. Bada da, Mandy. Bo oh, no, it's, oh, it says bada da, bada da. Not Prinhorn Dawn now, is it? Prinhorn Dawn. Oh, oh, I love that one. I could look at this book for hours. Oh, that's what I bought Cat. I bought Cat's Camellia for her. I thought she had a whole garden, didn't realise it was just a shed roof. Then this goes to intermediate projects. They were beginner. These are intermediate. Dread to think what they, let's have a look at. Oh, oh, look at that. Just stunning, aren't they? Iron-on transfers are in the front to help you as well. Oh, I won't get them out because actually they're going to sell. It's going to sell out, isn't it? It's going to sell out, so I don't want to take them out. But you do get five free threads. Beautiful. We'll go back up to eighteen ninety-nine at midnight if if there are any left. There we go. I was going to look at it first, but sold out. Storage box with skeins. Now you get 10 skeins in this one. Random. Can't tell you what colour. Oh, is there not one of these open on the shelves? How many have I got? Oh. Don't open it, she says. Elliot came in this morning with, I don't know, he said, you hoover one day, they have a piece, somebody doing a demo, and there's fabric all over the floor. And I was like, yeah, Elliot, that's what happens when you cut fabric up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry, Elliot. No, I'm not. No. Okay, look, can we just discuss this? This is quite serious, actually. It's 9 9 10, you're getting 10 skeins of thread, and they are quality DMC, random in colour. Look, and you get this, right? Let me do it the right way up. And you get the 100, I think it's 100 of these, little cards that you can oh, wind your um, embroidery threads around to make sure they stay safe in the box. I don't do embroidery, but I bought, I'd buy this book. Just look at the beautiful pictures. That's what I said, Karen. Um, Ange says, I have this gorgeous book. And yes, so far, just sit and look at it. Oh, Elliot, and it's sold out now. Just as Elliot brings me another one. Oh, the book's sold out. The book's sold out. The book's sold out. Not this, sorry. Beautiful, isn't it? So that one has those colour threads in it. They're all random. And then this one here had those threads in it. I could mix them up if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Oh yeah, tell me which ones you want. Fantastic. I have to quench them against the top there like that. It's like... Oh, have I? A seat frame. This one. Um, hang on. Now, Hannah's given, passed this one out to me. That's not complete, that one. I'll just show you what it comes with, right? I'll show you on the picture, actually. It's nothing to, yes, it's nothing to, ignore that. That's what it looks like. Twenty-seven ninety-nine embroidery frame with seat steady. Now, you sit on its side saddle. You sit on its side saddle. We all thought that you sat with that between your legs. You don't. It's, you sit on its side saddle. Carol says, good morning, everyone. Only just Carol. Oh, no, it's only 10 to 11. 27.99. Comes in the box all ready for you. 25.4 centimetres. just over 10 inches, isn't it? Easy to assemble, instructions included, leaves your hands free to work your canvas, high quality polished wood, seat frame by El Bessie. You've, then you've got this one, which can, you can screw to the side of your table. Let's see if Elliot's got a picture of that one there. 24 .99. Oh, 
is that the same one? Oh, yes. Tip for the storage box. Remember to write the skein number on the cardboard. Yep, I meant to say that. Sorry, Ange. I normally say that, but thanks, Ange. Keeping an eye out on me. $24.99, this is. This one, and you can't see it on Elliot's picture there, but you can see it better on this picture here. I'll put it flat on the table so Elliot can get it from upstairs. Look, that's how it, that's how it clamps to your table there. Again, 10 inch. Good, she's got loads to get through, and Sally Ann's back in a minute. Next. So beautiful quilt books. Now, we sell them together. Here they are. That can't be right. That must be for one, surely. $24.99 for both of those. So you get, there's 36 projects here, 28 projects in there. In fact, I knew I'd got this out for a reason. Catherine Wright did one of the projects a couple of weeks ago, didn't she? That's one of the projects from the book. I think she, that's the, not the tote. I think, um, hang on, which one did she do? I think it's out of this book, isn't it? Of course, I'm not going to be able to find it now, am I? There it is. I don't think she did that one. I think she did that one. It's lovely, isn't it? Twenty. Both books are twenty four ninety nine. That can't be right. Do what? Hang on. Let me have a look. So on the back of this one, that should be forty. Oh, I remember the different prices, aren't they? That one's twelve ninety nine. That's fourteen ninety nine. So that's what twenty seven pounds, twenty eight pounds. 10, 26, 27, 28 pounds should be, but just 24.99. That's really good value for books like that. Yeah, yeah, when we had it on the day that Catherine Mike was on doing that bag, this bundle sold out so quickly. Managed to put them together again. Uh, 30, 40, 50, 58, 64 projects in there for 24 99 Now, these are not projects you're going to run up to in, in an afternoon. They are ones that you're going to take your time over. One of them is just bags. See, that one's bags and gifts. Oh, yeah, that one's just bags, and that one's bags and gifts. Oh. Applique pins, if you can do a bit of applique. There we go. Uh, Six ninety nine clover applique pins. These are tiny, tiny, and very, very, very sharp. Clover applique pins. You get one hundred and fifty. Oh, excuse me, hiccup. One hundred and fifty in there. You want some, Elliot? Six ninety nine. Oh, okay. So magical. These specials arrived and I don't know what they are. Paper piece. Oh, we love these. These are paper piece fantastical creatures. Mermaids, unicorns, dragons and more. 16 blocks, 7 projects. Foundation paper piecing, but simple. Look, so uh, 20 99 not today. 15 99 There, oh no. That's not a dragon, is it? We thought that was Elliot's pillow then. Where's the, um, where did you say there was a dragon then? There's Elliot's pillow. What's that me, Grandad? Where's your dragon? Oh, there's a dragon. And there's Elliot. On a good day. That's Han Hannah, look. Yeah, she's a, she's a princess. 15.99. Right, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. I've got a special a special offer for you. Okay, yesterday we had a manager special. Manager's not here today, so we've got a John Scott special. And two of my favourite quilts as well. Two of my how did they know that? Right, so 
William Morris, right. Now, can I just tell you, Stuart um, demoed this and he did such a brilliant, brilliant job. He had every single... I was like, I mean, I know all of our experts come prepared and everything, but he was like uber prepared. Each section, each section had a little bag and he took it. It was brilliant. Anyway, I'll show you the, this. You get so much fabric in here, right? It's only four different fabrics. I'll show you the finished quilt in a minute. It's called the woven quilt. If you look, you've got your... Um, uh, your stars there, you've got your woven here, you've got your Dresden in the middle there, you've got your flying geese around the edge and you've got your stars in the corner. You have so much fabric in here, over 11 metres of fabric. Stuart said, Stuart said there's some left over, right, for you to um, make cushions and everything like that. Right, I've got to be honest with you now, and actually somebody messaged me at the weekend saying I'm just piecing it. They, they were doing theirs, so I'm ever so sorry. Right, I've only got five left. That's it. We will have no more once those five have gone. We had the, I'll tell you what we had this on. I'm going to be honest with you, straight up with you, right? On the day where we had buy two quilts, get 20% off. We had this on that day, right? So you could have got 20% off it if you bought two quilts. Look at it, isn't it beautiful? It's enormous. It's never been reduced on its own. Right, so it should be £200. Look, £199.99. Three split payments of 66 66 No interest charge whatsoever. It's £20. She's just taken off. She's just taken £20 off like that. See, so split pay now is £59.99. Um, I need to show you. There's only five. There's only five left. This is an enormous quilt. Look, look at this, right? Right, Elliot, no we can't stand next to each other now, come on, I was going to say, if we pretended we were both in a double bed, there'd be loads left over, look at the size of this quilt, it's enormous, hang on, look, yeah I'll just struggle, don't worry, look, look, that's the middle of the quilt there, so you've got the same amount down the bottom as you've got at the top here, now this is me in bed, like, I, I, it's just brilliant, isn't it? Now, there's only four different fabrics. Let me show you. There's just the um, vine, you've got the blue floral, the pink floral, and you've got the big trees. Right, there's only three left now. There's only three of these left. Look at this bit here. This is called the woven bit here. It looks so intricate. It's not intricate at all. You can so easily, two left, two left now. Please make sure if you've got this in your basket, check out. Check out, check out, check out. We've only got two left now and that's it. One left. Yeah, so there's your flying geese on the picture there. You've got your woven to the right there. You've got your stars in the corner. You've got those bigger blocks for them. If you wanted to, you could cut those middle bits um, on the on point so that your animals are, are straight up if you wanted to. There's the Dresden plate for the middle. Right, there's one left, but six people, seven people got it in their basket now. And we can't even take this home, it's not ours. Would look so lovely on my bed, that. Right, there's one left, in fact, there's this one left. There's one left, there's one left, there's one left. And oh, eight people want it now. Now, Anna Maria. Right, now this has been in the, the day where you could, if you bought two, you got 20% off, right? This is gorgeous. Now, it's um, how much fabric do you get in here? Ten and a half metres of fabric in this one. This is stunning. I'll show it to you in a second. It looks like it's complicated, but it's not. It's really easy to make. So, £174.99, three split payments of 58.33. How many have I got left? Nine I've got of this one. Nine of these. Okay, I don't know what she said to me, just do it. 174.99 is where it should be. Oh! Hang on, so have you just, have you just knocked 30 pounds off? Hang on, well, how much was it? Okay, 174.99, so well, not 25 pounds off, is that? 174, yeah. 25 pounds, look at the split payments, three split payments. Right, so you get 10 and a half metres of fabric in here. This split payment, I know, and there's no interest charge. This is another biggie. This is 183 by 234. 
Okay, if you're looking at the picture on the web, you obviously don't get the backing. You just get the front and the binding. There you go. Look at that. William Morris has sold out now. This is Anna Maria. We've just taken £25 off, but there's only nine left. Beautiful. You've got the Irish chain running through it in the purples. And if you look, it's actually quite simple because these are just quarter square triangles in the middle here. In fact, didn't Wendy, I think it was Wendy Orlando that um, demoed this one, wasn't it? I can't remember now. Oh, right. Hannah's gone a little bit heady. Head, light-headed is the word I'm looking for, not heady. Little bit light-headed. She's just eaten a Greek salad. Right. So, right, 100, so 140 pounds, and how much was it? 175 pounds. So she's taken 35 pounds off. Only till midnight tonight, though. Only till midnight tonight. So now, look, a 46, 66, three split pay. You pay the first one today, we send you the kit. And then you pay another one in a month and another one in two months. Beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. You can choose, you can choose which, where, what goes in each of these, because obviously the fabric's there for you to choose from. You can mix your um, quarter square triangles about. You could, you know what you could do, if you want to make it a bit different, is make it like, only use two fabrics in each of those. So you have, you know, like, what's it called, cotton reel or bow tie or whatever in there. 139.99 till midnight tonight. Anna Maria Horner, beautiful fabrics. It's quite dramatic as well, isn't it, with that purple Irish chain running through it. Right, lots of people put in their baskets. You need to check out. You need to check out if you want to. Oh, I need to also tell you, which is a bit weird, that fabric is a William Morris fabric running through the Irish chain. You do get one William Morris fabric in there. The rest are all Anna Maria Horner. Six left, of, six left, but how many in baskets? Okay, with 10, 12 people in the basket. So it's up to you now. I need to go, because Sally Ann needs to come on. I'm surprised she hasn't come banging on the door. She normally does, doesn't she? 139.99. Please. Oh, there you go. There it is. Now, you don't get the backing, obviously. You don't get the backing. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Look at it. Don't get the backing. Four left and loads of you got it in your basket. One more time, one more time. You don't get the backing, remember? It's lovely. I'll do that while standing up, holding that by the fence in the car park. Draped, it wasn't. Let's have a look at it again. Hang on, let's have a look. No, there's definitely somebody holding that, like Elliot. There's no bar at the top. Oh, uh, it wasn't a person, it was a board. Anyway, I've got to move on. I've got to move on. If you want that, check out, check out, check out. Two left. Two left. Go for a break. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. 
Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. We are moving home. From Wednesday the 26th of January, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane are moving to Freeview Channel 73. We will still be on Sky Channel 670, YouTube and Facebook Live as normal. It's only the Freeview channel that is changing. Keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook, Instagram and our email newsletter for more details. And if you watch us on Freeview, don't forget to tune into Freeview Channel 73 from 8am on Wednesday the 26th of January. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Sorry about the delay. We had to wait for Elliot to finish a very important phone call. And for the management watching, that's a joke. He wasn't on the phone. I'm just trying. He was, I was eating biscuits. Right, OK. Whenever we've done this project before, Sally Ann's project before, it has completely and utterly sold out. We've got it back today. And it's already selling. It's already selling. This is what we're going to do a demo of this hour. Um, so if you would like to make this, you need this kit, right? There's the instructions. But it's such a popular, such a popular project, this. Zip, a metre of calico, and a panel, totally and utterly exclusive to Sewing Street. Hang on. It's really, uh, it's gone loud. My ears popped in the break. Right, look, 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 look. So, you get this fabric. What's this bit for then here? Piping, binding, pi piping. 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 Then here are all your little pleats in a rainbow of colours. And then these, they're just coordinating fabrics. They're just a freebie added on the end. So for, you see, I can't understand this. For 19 99 you get in the panel, which I'd say is a 12 99 or a 14 99 a panel. Sally Ann's instructions, a metre of calico and a zip for 19.99 and you wonder why it sells out that's beautiful isn't it now which way up to oh yeah that way that way it's lovely isn't it this would look lovely in my lounge this one just saying 
19 pounds and 99 pence. Please be careful because they fly out. Nineteen ninety-nine. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Nineteen ninety-nine. Right now, that is going to be the only demo this hour. But I'm just going to show you one. <laughs> Not that. That wasn't my demo. That wasn't my demo. I've also got this pattern, Liberty Peach Plout. <laughs> <laughs> What on earth is a Liberty Peach Plout? <laughs> Liberty Pleat Pouch. This is Sally Ann's original here. Oh, which is the one on the picture there. You don't have to use Liberty Fields if you don't want two plots. Doesn't it look gorgeous? Um, that's the pattern on its own. That's just the pattern if you want to get that. And that's Sally Ann's own pouch that she's brought in. I thought it had something interesting in it, but it's got like dog poo bags in it or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> What's it going to like? Oh, have you not got a dog? <laughs> what are these then? Oh, Waitrose. That's not their old. They haven't done those bags for years. <laughs> anyway, we've got Waitrose bags in them. No? Right, there we go. 9 99 just for the pattern. Just for the pattern of that. The Liberty Pleat Pouch. Right, now, I have got other instructions and bundles available this hour. I've got the makeup bag, I've got the pin cushion, I've got the apple cushion, but we'll do all of that later. We're going to get on with the demo to start with. So do you need anything from me, sally Ann, from over here? No. No. Okay. I'm very sorry about the floor. Oh, don't. <laughs> your, I was just saying your burn's much bigger than Debbie Shaw's burn. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I ought to be proud of it. It's funny, isn't it? The smell was really nice. And yeah. Hannah and I were like, oh, isn't that a lovely smell? And it was just burning plastic <laughs> carpet or horrible carpet. <laughs> right, so okay. where do we start? What do we do? What are you going to show us today? Okay, so um, as per usual, all the instructions are in the pattern, yeah. step by step. The photos are in there. I am going to show you the a row, hopefully, of pleats. Uh -huh. And what I haven't shown before, I've, I'm hoping to do a little bit of piping and an, um, I've got an envelope back semi-prepared so you can Perfect. see those elements as well. Lovely. Okay. Where do we get one of these from? Handmade by Sally Ann Harrison. <laughs> That's a lovely one, isn't it? Anyway. <laughs> there's a there's a good label on the back yeah, there, I know. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I don't know. Quarter of the stock's gone already. Quarter of the stock's gone. The panel, if you think you're getting the panel, the meter calico, the zip and the instructions, and the chance to be in Sally's gang, all for nineteen yeah. ninety nine. Right, I'll let you get on. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're so quick fire, I just can't keep up the pace. Oh, sorry, I'll slow down. <laughs> I'll go and get a chair then. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine. Um, okay, so the, the pleats in the panel are actually built onto a style veil or a bosal or a thermalan background. And that's really important because you need something that you're able to draw the grid onto. Right. Okay, so you draw a grid and it shows you in the instructions how to draw the, because there's three lines in there, as you can see. Uh, there we've got bosal so in our form, so in 150 centimetres wide, you're buying it by the half metre. Yeah. You don't need half a metre then. You, you make a few out of half a metre when you, if it's 150 centimetres wide. Yeah, you would do. Because you, you only need that. That's not half. Uh, how big is it? 20, 22, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. Can't remember whether it's 22. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You're better with it. Yeah, what size? There you are. Finished size of a cushion is 19, so half a metre will be fine. Yes, yeah. Just, just, ju just, just, you yeah. just have enough, yeah. Right. Yeah, so it's really important that you use the right product to support the pleats because otherwise it's not going to work in it. I'll, don't be tempted just to use ordinary quilt batting because. I mean, I've been there. It doesn't work. It's just too fluffy and everything sort of loses its crispness. Okay, quick question. You don't need that to make the purse as well, do you? No, it's the same pleating design. There's not bosal in there, is there? Um, there may be. Yeah. Oh, there is. There is. Yeah. But you just need so the that's Starville is a little less, um, it's got a little less loft, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so uh, I would put that in there. Right, okay. We haven't got any Starville in stock at the moment, but you use Starville in that one. <gasps> Go. <laughs> okay. So anyway, the great thing about the panel is the fact that 
it's all laid out for you and you can just cut your little pieces of fabric, which is uh -huh. really good. So I'm just going to cut it in strips. So, so I'm just going to cut a strip of this to start making some pleats. Right. Oh, when you say strips, you mean the strip right the way across the fabric, yeah, not just each of one the, individually. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the way that it's laid out, it makes it really easy. to cut the strips. So. so in the pattern it tells you to make you know individual little pieces but uh -huh. what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put two together and make, can you see I'm going to make four little pleats all in one go by okay, just sewing perfect. one straight line. So. so to cut your calico out you could use your ruler or your stripology. Yep you could do. Uh, to cut your panels out or just use your ruler. Right. So I've got a walking foot on here only because I'm going to use it later on. Okay. Um, ordinarily you'd use like a quarter inch, an ordinary mm -hmm. quarter inch foot. I'm also going to need to adjust where that needle's going. So I'm just sewing it right sides together, the calico and the, the pleats. So have you literally just sewn down? All the way down. Yep. Yep. And I'm just going to break them apart. Okay. Get rid of that little bit. And in the pattern it gives you all the sizes for the pleats. Of course, yeah. Yeah, save those for Susie Duncan. They'll go in the uh, rat bedding at the end of the week. She's in on Sunday. Right, I'm going to plug in this. Or are you going to burn the carpet again? I hope not. This is just an ordinary iron with no flash bits, no water. Yeah, I've just realised there's a lot of gunk on the bottom of it, though. Mm. It doesn't look too bad. Not too bad, she says. Okay, so I'm going to press these and to start off with, I'm actually going to press the seam open. Oh, okay. Only because it gives like a crisper finish. Uh huh. Don't be tempted to top stitch them because then they won't. So, I mean, a lot of people would press that open and then put in a line of top stitching. We yeah. don't want to do that. So, what are we on? Wait for it to warm up, eh? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> she nicked it in the break. She had it in her dressing room for the break. Yeah, so if you iron it open and then iron it with wrong sides together, you get seem to get a crisper finish. I didn't have it switched on. Wasn't switched on. No. That's why it wasn't getting warm then. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good day, isn't it? Oh, it's like having one of those of days. It, that's part of Elliot's job, you see, to check things like that in the break. Oh, don't blame Elliot. Why not? <sighs> he loves it. He's a sweetie. He's so used to it, because every time anything goes wrong in the office, it's like, oh, where's Elliot? Elliot's done it wrong. So, and at home, I imagine, as well. Yeah, you broke Hannah's internet at home. So literally you're just folding each one over. Yeah. But you do this with all of the pieces, yeah. wouldn't you? Because you're just done the three or the four orangey ones. I'm you do it with all the colours, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, you would. So, but because of the way the panel's laid out, look, it stops you having to cut individual ones. You could just do it as a strip. Like, of course, yeah. Which is far quicker than mm -hmm. individually cutting them. 
Please be careful if you've got it in your basket. Very, very busy. Right, let's give them all a bit of a press. Half the stock has gone now. Half the stock is checked out, lot still in baskets. Right. Right, she switched the iron off, everybody. Buddy, yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Okay. I'm just going to trim them down. Uh huh. Better to trim them after you've sewn them rather than before. It of makes course. them more accurate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Might just trim them down just a little bit, get rid of those white uh -huh. bits. So when you're at home, did you do all of the all of the strips before you started? Did you cut all and, and press yeah, I did. all of them? Yeah, and, and then I played around with them on the floor, trying to sort of get a rainbow oh, effect. Oh, I mean that's yes. already done for you in the panel. Yeah, yeah, of course, yes. Away. Okay. So I have a, got a back on this, as right. well, just a just to stop it getting caught up in your machine. I it tends to work better for me. So Is I'm there enough spray. calico in the bundle to do it's that? Loads, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I've just spray basted that on. Uh huh. 505 from earlier. Okay. So we're in a position now to start building the pleats. So there's the pleats that I just made. Right. And here's some that I brought with me. So right. we're going to work our way along. So this is what in my pattern I call a spacer unit. So you start off by putting a spacer unit against the first line of your grid. Uh huh. And then you put that my sewing pleat line. on top. No. So that. It's not a sewing line, it's a placement line. Okay. okay. So I've got the spacer unit and I've got the pleat right side down. Yeah. And then I'm going to put another spacer unit on the top. Right. Okay. And I'm just going to sew along there. So they're slightly longer than the thing, aren't they? They're kind yes. of a bit longer than you draw. Yeah, them. good point. So um, at the top, I tend to overlap it by about a quarter of an inch, and at the bottom, I leave a little bit more. And that the reason for that is when I, you can see where we're going with this. Oh when I pull, yes, 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 I need that extra bit to be able to. Oh flip yeah, because it'd be not back. awful if you'd stitch them all, then you fold them, and they kind of just missed where you had to go. Yep. Horrible feeling. So let's try and. Are they special pins you've got in there? These are just fine pins. Fine pins. Right. So again, remember it's a placement line, not a sewing line. Uh huh. And then I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch. I think a I'm quarter of an inch in. Yeah. I don't Can know. we see the sewing machine, please? Okay, I'm going to use a slightly bigger stitch as well because it's quilting, so I'm going to take it oh, up to okay. about three. Right. Because you're going through lots of layers yeah. as well, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finger press it into the next position. Can you see that it uh -huh. then... Let's have a look at that, Elle. See it? I suddenly at jewellery maker there, working with Elle. Right, okay. So, all I've done is flattened that one out, yeah. left the pleat as it is, and I'm in a position then to put in the next pleat, right side down. Right, you have. Quarter of an inch over above the line, and then a spacer unit on the top. Uh-huh. So you just pin at the top, on the top line, do you? Or yeah, so I just put a few top. pins just to stop it moving around. Yeah. Go 
back in with the walking foot. Again, flat note that spacer unit. Grab hold of your next pleat. Uh -huh. Put it in the right place. So you can see where I'm going with this now. It's just a repetitive process. It's the starting off that is the most tricky bit. So uh -huh. you can, once you've started putting them in place, you get the sort of gist, as it, gist of it cool. as you go along. I must admit, I really like that working with the panel because the panel takes the crease really well. It is, well, as you can see, there it sits really yeah, well. That beautifully, yeah, beautifully, yeah. And right sides together. So you may get some that look like this that go slightly off. I wouldn't worry too much uh -huh. about that. The important thing is to remember the placement line. So don't try and stick. Don't try and line it up with the edge of the last piece. It's always with the placement line. Yeah, of course. Sue says, I can't believe it. The sewing machine I ordered on uh, Friday has just arrived. So quick. I'm amazed and a little bit frightened. It's so big. I'm going to take it nice and steady. Look at it, bit for it. Look at it for a bit before I introduce myself. Oh, Sue. It's so exciting getting a new sewing machine because you're, you're excited, but you're scared to get it out of the box. Yeah. There's that fear. At, there's that sort of reverence, isn't there? There's that. It's perfect at the moment. Just looking at it in yeah, the box. Yeah, exactly. But also the box always feels so like the box that the one you're using comes in it's enormous because it yeah. has the great big polystyrene casing and everything in it and you've got the extension table in and everything like that i must admit overlockers still terrify me oh there you are i've missed out a space oh, unit done? I've got to put in my space unit. Oh, that's sorry, that's my fault for asking the question. That's all right. I was getting excited, right. about, excited about um, the same machine. Sewing machine yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Let's put the spacer back in. Now. I think this would be quite therapeutic to do actually this. It is with the colours as well, because they're such lovely colours. I've just taken random colours because uh -huh. but they'll but you'll do it in in an order. Well in the order on the panel, won't you? Yeah, of course. And do you, uh, I know you're just doing one strip there. When you're doing the cushion with the three strips, are they all on the same one piece of bosal yes. or whatever? They're not, yes, they you don't are. do three separate ones and send them together afterwards? No, they're all on the same piece. Yeah. So you've drawn that panel that you've got there three times on one piece of the yeah. um, interfacing? Yes. There's some, some bosal that is a little bit too chunky. I don't know which one it is, though. Yeah. So you need to, obviously, you need to have something that will go under your sewing machine. And I know Thermalan and Styleville will. Um, super, some, 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 some bosals. Some are very thick. Yeah, it's got yeah. A, a lot of loft. And I don't know how, do you, do you know what the branding oh. is around bosal? There's no, but I'll be doing a show about it, won't oh. I, very soon, <laughs> about all the different interfacings. Yeah, we need to make sure we've got them all in stock all at the same time, don't we? I 
Let's put a couple more in so uh -huh. you can see the, the effect. So again, right sides down with the space yeah. unit spacer, on the spacer. spacer on top. Unthread the machine. It's what? I managed to unthread it. Oh no, while you're doing that, let me just remind okay. you of the bundle for this cushion, which loads of you have come in again. Way more than half the stock has gone. So, what you get is you get the instructions, Sally Ann's instructions. You get a zip, you get a meter of calico, um, and then you get this exclusive panel which is uh, all this fabric here for your binding. You get so much of that because you're going to cut it on the bias. Then here are all your different coloured strips. Now, you don't have to do them in that order if you don't want to. You can mix and match them as much as you like, but they're all your strips. There wouldn't be enough to do it in one colour, Elliot, would there? Oh, yeah, once you've got the pattern, you could do them all in the same colour. If you want to do different shades of purple or... Grey, Elliot wants it in. That's nice. Grey. Did you watch uh, Watercolour <laughs> Artist of the Year? Yes, they because one of them did a watercolour that was all greys. And then you've got the uh, extra panels on the end there. All of that for £19.99. This exclusive panel, I think that, let's be very generous. Let's say it's a £12.99 panel, right? That's £12.99. That's £9.99. That's already taken us to, what, £23. And then a metre of calico, another fiver, plus a zip. You're getting a really, really good deal there for $19.99. Just so you know. Um, I also have, oh, you're right. Uh, well, I'll just tell you this. I've also got the pattern for the pouch as well. It's just the pattern, this one, though. Liberty Pleat Pouch. Just the pattern on its own. A Liberty Pleat Pouch. Okay. Um, this pattern's not available on its own, is it, today? Hannah? No. Okay, that's fine. Right, how are you getting on over there? Well. Right. I've just sewn in a piece that's too big. So it looks like I cut my spaces a bit too big. Oh, okay. Just trim them down. Oh, yeah, that looks much thicker than the other. Why yeah. isn't the other? Maybe that's what was left at the end. Might be. Yeah. There's only 25 left. There's only 25 left of the cushion kit. for time uh oh you're all right you got about 20 minutes i've got to introduce all the other kits as well but that's all we're not doing any demos on that so you're fine okay put in one last one you keep saying that I one know. last one well, just one I more know. just one more i get i get excited to see the colors <laughs> it really is yeah it's weird even after all this time Looking at these, I still get excited to see the colours when they yeah. come out. Right. Okay. Right. Let's put this. Okay, so a bit of a tidy up session, and there we go. So we've got all the pleats in place. Yeah. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw back in that line and I'm going right. to sew along that line. 
can use a friction. So that's the top line. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to stitch so along yeah, that I'm just top line. Stitch along that top yeah. line. So I'm going to reset my sewing machine for a second so that the needle is in the middle. Is that the way you're doing to get it back to the beginning? Yeah. Just press the C button. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cope with that. Okay, now I'm going right. to use some pins to actually begin to pin into position the pleats. Is there a, is there a, a, a placement where you pull them towards? Do you just pull them as <laughs> almost as far as they'll go? Almost as far as they, they'll go. Yeah. Elliot wants to know where you got this idea from. Um, I don't know really. Playing around. Just playing around. Playing around. Um. It's become one of your signature looks now, hasn't it, as well? Because <laughs> if you look on uh, Facebook, everybody seems everybody's made one. And, and whether it's this or whether it's the little purse or something like that, it seems to be, oh, I've done Sally Ann's pleating. Yeah. And I, I like the way that people sort of take an idea and then they run with it. Yeah. So quite a f um, I had a lady that made, a couple of ladies that made it into a cover for a wedding album. I'm like, that looks stunning. A wedding album? Yes. Oh, I bet that was nice. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Um, and somebody else who made it into a bag for a wedding. Uh-huh. Um, people sort of adapt Oh, they can make a beautiful clutch bag. Yeah. They? A really nice clutch bag, yeah. And, and those people that used it as memory, you know, Yeah, so each, each, each um, fold is a different memory. Yeah, like things. granddad's ties yeah. and that sort of thing. Oh. That was really good. Or baby clothes, little snippets of baby clothes. Uh-huh. So you can see the colours beginning to come into play. What size zip? It is a 12 inch 30 centimetre zip. Oh, oh was there was a question. I didn't see that. Oh, okay, who was it? Sorry. Linda, Linda, 12 inch. Okay, just about have enough pins. Right, so I'm gonna, again, I'm going to do the same thing and draw the line back in uh -huh. using the Frickson pen. I want to keep this as straight as possible. Oh no, Wendy. Morning, John and Sally Ann. Love Hello. watching your demos. My Sewing Street mystery parcel has just arrived and I'm disappointed because John's photo is not signed. I don't know how that's happened because I did thousands of them. Uh, right, uh, Wendy, send me, uh, I don't know if you can do this. Do you, are we friends on Facebook? Can you send me a private message on Facebook and I'll make sure they send you one? Or, or if you send your address now by email to Hannah, which is uh, not Hannah's personal one, uh, studio, it's here, I've got it now. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Just put your name and address on there and I'll make sure you get a signed one. Do it now, do it now, do it within the next hour though, Wendy, so we make sure we get it. That's weird that there was one, there was, because I signed, how many thousands of those did I sign? There must have just been one stuck to the back of another one or something like that. Okay, so. Right. That's what it looks like now. Uh -huh. And what you would do then is you go in and put the borders between the if you can see. So you're going to make three of these. Yeah. And in between, you're going to put the borders. And your borders are just going to... 
does it tell you in the pattern ha instructions how far to draw the grids on your piece oh, of yeah. fabric and everything yeah like it that. tells you to start in the middle and work outwards to draw your grid so you're going to drop like a perpendicular right down the middle right and then and you're then going to build out your uh, little boxes three either boxes, size yeah. yeah perfect so then you'd go in and you'd add quite simply add your borders like yeah this in between and the, there's one that's in between the top oh yes, yes yes, yeah. yes 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 so you just put you just actually Press roll that over. over and then stitch it in place. You can either hand stitch it in place or top stitch it in place. Oh, I think it looks nice top stitch because yeah. you, you top, top sti if you top stitch all the lines in, it looks lovely, yeah. doesn't it? So you're going to put one at the top like that. Fantastic. And one, one at, the bottom. at the bottom. Same sort of idea. Okay. Yep, lovely. Right, so we move on to... Yeah, so you've back. literally got a big square with three rows like that on and you put the two gaps in between and put the calico across. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm just updating myself where we are. That's right. All. Yep. Okay. So. <laughs> Don't know. I'm giggling. It's funny. <laughs> just in one of those funny moods today. What are you doing now? Okay. So, this. No, it's the board. I'm it's afraid. The board. It's been trying to flatten it. Yeah. It was me. I rescued it out from under underneath right so you get a nice big um oh on, on the panel yeah on the panel you get a yeah. huge square of the fl fl ditzy floral but well, it's not ditzy is it big floral here it's massive actually it's much bigger than the piece you've got there yeah so Look. i've actually cut this down so this is a i think it's a 15 inch yeah a 15 inch square right you and have. i'm going to use i'm going to do it as molar, you know, like you would do molar binding? Molar? Yeah. Never heard of that. Molar binding. We'll do it and I'll tell you what I call it. Uh, what else is it called? You know, when you, when you cut it in a spiral. Oh, yes, yes, I know, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Go well, on then. Well, it, what, what else is it called? Spiral. I just called it spiral. Okay. But. Yeah, so even though you've got all that fabric, you only need 15 inches to have enough to go round the edge of this cushion. Perfect. Okay, so you will have oodles left. Lots of that one, yes. yeah. yeah. The only downside about molar binding is um, the fact that you will get a lot of little joins, but then, mm -hmm. again, you know, you do save fabric. So I'm going to cut it across on the diagonal, so these are the straight grains running down yeah. and across. And then I'm going to join it. I'm taking the right sides together. I'm going to put a seam in down here. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So this is where the molar bit comes in because it looks like a tooth. Oh, it's a week of teeth. This, but they did a tooth cushion yesterday. Did they? Okay. And Hannah needs to book a dentist appointment. She just remembered. <laughs> All right. Let's move this needle again. Um. Dentists aren't open at the weekend, Hannah. Uh, Susan has just received her mystery parcel with a gorgeous, gorgeous vintage patchwork book full of mini quilts. Oh. Right, I'm going to press the seam open. Oh, iron's off. Just so you know. Yeah. I think I forget my head this morning if it wasn't screwed on. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you just said to me. I said to you the iron's <laughs> off and you went yes, yeah. nodded and then she tried to iron with it off. <laughs> you leave yours on at home all day. I've got one of those automatic cutouts. Oh, I hate ones. that when it switches itself off. Mine does that. Yeah. It beeps and then it flashes and then yeah. it switches itself off. Yeah. yeah. Iron's off. I'm going to say. Iron's off, everyone. It's going home in 15 minutes, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Okay, so you've now stitched those two pieces together. together. So now I'm going to draw some lines on with a Frickson marker. Uh huh. So the How wide does your binding need to be? Then? Two. Two inches. So can you see here is the, the bias now? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we're going in the right direction. So we just take a long ruler. but you work your way up to the top. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to turn it around this way. Uh -huh. Bring the sides in. Okay? Yeah. So here is your bias. Right. Now, if you joined those as they are, then you wouldn't be able to actually get into the reel to start cutting. So you have to offset them. So you offset them by joining them like this, so that yeah. you've got one to actually start cutting into, if that makes sense. I'll get some pins, where should I put them? So what I'm doing is I'm gonna go like a quarter, because I'm gonna do a quarter inch seam, I'm gonna uh -huh. go into that line, and then I'm gonna go out on the corresponding, I mean, alternatively, if you put a, a quarter inch line all the way up here, that yeah. would work as well. I just wanted to show you a few. So I would pin it all the way up like that. Okay, so I'm gonna sew that seam okay. using a quarter inch. Oh, is it unthreaded again? Yeah, I think it's me. I think I get overexcited about getting it out from under the machine. Uh huh. And then I pull it out too quickly. Yeah, or do you, if you pull it out towards you, because they say you should pull it out away from you, don't yeah, they? Yeah, probably. But we always, every, I'm the same, I pull it out forwards. Oh, no. Hang on. <coughs> Just saw John saying about pick, decide to open my parcel. No pick at all in hers. Oh, it's because it's a mystery mm. one. Dorothy, email Hannah now and I'll make sure you get one. Tut tut. Doesn't that mean kiss kiss? Don't you mean kiss kiss, not tut tut? Studio at sewingstreet.com. If you email in in the next hour, I'll make sure you get, get one. Right, I've got Wendy's already. So I've got Wendy's address already. So if you just send me yours through, my love. Oh, okay, they just send them through to my ear, let me know. Caroline says it's my 55th birthday today, Good so I've treated myself to Happy a cushion birthday. kit. Happy birthday. That's three orders I'm waiting for now, excited. Oh, happy birthday, Caroline. Happy birthday, Hannah says. Elliot just grunted. <laughs> okay. Right. So, you would press this open. The iron's off at the moment, though. Yeah, you can I'd, do it with the roller. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm safer with the roller. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you look at that? So what you're going to do is you're going to go in now and you're going to cut on the lines. Uh huh. So. So it's very fabric efficient. Yeah, totally. But you will get So you're going to get joins. eons of bias binding from just a 15 inch square, aren't you? You are. And you just call it spiral. Yeah. It's a really old fashioned technique, isn't it? Is it? Not old fashioned, I mean traditional. 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 Don't mean old fashioned at all. 
Yeah, loads, lots of us. We, that's one of the first things you learn when you make your bias binding at college. Elliot thought it was, you know, something newfangled. Yeah, I'll stop there. But you can see... Yes, yeah, so you just carry on going, don't yeah, you, basically? you just carry on going. And use the whole of the piece of fabric up. Yeah. So you've got a nice two-inch wide bias strip then to, for your piping. Yeah. Uh, it's Marion's birthday today. She's 56 today. Marion, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Marion. Lots of birthdays today. And Sue says, did Elliot enjoy the curry night? Sort of, because he's on dry January, isn't he? But um, he was flirting, he did his hair cut and he was sitting there flirting all night. He didn't eat as much as Kieran, you know, Vix's husband. Didn't eat as much as her. But he had, um, how many poppadoms did you have? Only two. Oh, even I had three poppadoms. <laughs> I haven't been out for a curry in ages. I'd say that again. I still haven't been out for a curry in ages. I haven't been out since I was 18. <laughs> I haven't had a curry since I was 18. Not that I'm not going tomorrow. Okay, I think I've got you that. You sure? Yeah. I'm not going to let you go. Don't let time. your thread go now. So. So you put a piping, you put a, you've put a zipper foot on, have you? I have, so I've yeah. changed it for a zipper foot. And I will actually, I'll start at the end where there isn't a... Yeah, don't want to theme. Yeah. So I'm going to put my... Oh, Jackie, you need to send your email in. Don't send it in the white box because it doesn't get saved there, my love. Not somebody Sorry. somebody without a... Studio at sangstreet.com. Studio at sangstreet.com, yeah. Okay, so I've got... All I've done is sandwich the... Hang on, hang on, Elliot. Can we see that? Sorry. There we go. Sandwich the piece of piping cord inside... Uh huh. The bias. I love strip. making piping. I love doing yeah. piping cords. Pi different size piping cords are on the website. That's a lovely thick one, that one, isn't it? Yeah, I must admit, this is what I used to make my rope baskets. It's five, oh, is it? It is 5.5, .5, but I could use it quite a lot. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I five is. F five yeah. is what I use yeah. normally. I think the one we've got in stock is three, and sometimes that might be a bit um, uh, thin. No, I won't okay. be cooking curries myself, no. So I'm going to turn up the stitch length on this to about three and a half. Uh huh. I'm going to try and keep those edges together. Uh huh. Let's make sure this foot's okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. It tends to work better if you have it at a slight angle. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, it does. If you do it straight. If you pull it. If you pull it round the front of your piping, uh, your piping foot, no, your, your zipper foot, it kind of creates a bit of tension. Yeah. So you go, you get even closer then to the stick to the piping cord because your idea is you want to be as close to the piping cord as you possibly get. Yeah, but. exactly. And it has to be on the bias because it's not. It's going obviously round the piping cord, and it's also going round the cushion. Yes. I might even help with get in there. Use the stiletto as well. Okay. Literally got a couple of minutes left now, Sally. Okay. Sally Ann. Oh, there's more people got this kit in their baskets now than we've actually got stock of. So please check out, check out, check out, check out. I'll go through the other uh, uh, things that are available as soon as Sally Ann's finished this. Okay, I'll stop there. that we made. 
So if you imagine what you're going to do then is I use quilter's tape to help me hold it in position uh -huh. or you could use clover clips. Yeah. So you're going to put it all the way around the front yeah. and then you're going to clip into these curves to get them to go around the corner. Yeah. So you want to sort of clip close so that you get it to go and sit in a nice corner uh -huh. like that. Can you see Make, that? Yeah, making it curved rather yeah. than a square, yeah. So quilter's tape, clover clips, and then I sew it in position. Personally. Again, using Again. the the the, yeah. uh, the, the zipper, uh, foot. zipper foot to yeah. keep it as close as possible. And then I put it, I put the back on, uh -huh. which is an envelope back, which is described in the pattern. Uh -huh. So you'd put the envelope back right sides on top. Yeah. And then again, so round really, really close. And because it's an envelope back, you don't need to leave a space anywhere because you pull it through the actual envelope backing, don't you? Yes, and the, the actual overlap is about five or six inches on an envelope back. Say this again, say something. Five or six inches overlap yeah. on yeah. an envelope back. And I tend to make the two pieces and then pin them or stitch them together because I Just always... Just to hold them together. Yeah, because it's much easier to deal with one exactly. piece. Exactly. Now, what was that question, Anna? Uh, uh, what size piping cord? Caroline, that was a five and a half, wasn't yeah. it, you used? I always use about a five uh, uh, or five and a half, but it's a nice, chunky piping cord to go around. I mean, you can use a three if you want to, but it'd be a much finer uh, piping, and I think on something like this, you want it to yeah. be seen, don't you? Is the molar binding in the instructions? Um, no. So no, the, the, but if the, you the, either watch that back or you just look it up on... Um, YouTube or anywhere like that. It's also on my website. If you go to my website, oh, there you go. Sally and Quilts, just, there's a molar binding calculator which tells you what oh. size square you need to cut for whatever Why do project I you need. <laughs> yes. Right, when are you in next? Um, 3rd of February. 3rd of February. Oh, that's Stuart's birthday. Isn't it 3rd of February, Stuart's birthday? Oh, no, it's the second. Oh, OK, it'll be the day after shit's better then. Anyway, thank you so much thank indeed. You. I've just got to go through all of this now. now. So the cushion is gone, has it? Oh, OK, so there are some that you have... There's way more people have got it in their baskets than we've got stock of, but you need to check out if you want it. You need to check out. There it is. Uh, because, remember, it's not yours until you check out. Someone else could ring the call centre and buy one, and then when you come to check out, yours will have gone. Right, the pouch, the pattern for just the pouch, the Liberty Pleat pouch. A lot of these ones have gone already. This a third of the stock has gone already. Hang on, we'll just hang on. We can't show you on the camera apparently. Oh, there you go. It's moving. It's moving. I can hear it moving. Liberty pleat pouch. Thank you. Uh, nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Okay. Oh, hang on. That's yours as well, isn't it? Right, okay. Now, the other things I've got here are the little pink bag, which is, the, the, which is this. I've got a bundle to make this with the pink, the PVC, and the orange Liberty, plus your zip. No. Yeah, yeah, it's got a zip in it. Yeah, it's got a zip in it. Because it says... There, 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 there. That makes this one. That makes this one. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Blush Liberty makeup bag kit. Uh, now, what date were you in last? Can you remember what date you were in last? Because we, um, we made this last time you were I in. I did. Weren't you? It was, was it the third, third, third of January. Third of January. Yeah. Then you're doing the third of February. Yeah. Ooh. Third of January. Right. Okay. So that's that one there. We've also got that one in the misty blue with the Liberty and the PVC and the instructions. Lot of those have already gone. Nineteen ninety nine. Uh, now, have we also got the instructions on their own? Yeah, because I've got them sitting here on their own. Instructions on their own. You will need. Um, well, you obviously need your own fabrics. I don't know why I'm saying that. Nine ninety nine. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Then we've also got. Now we haven't seen this for ages. We did this ages yeah, ago, together, ages didn't we? Ago. The uh, Apple cushion. The Apple applique cushion. Uh, no, I've got blue or pink. Pink, yeah, that's this one. That to make this one. So what you get here is you get Sally Ann's instructions. You get a metre of your, it looks like beige, your nude. And you get the panel. For with all the different fabrics on that you could desire. £19.99. 
So that's obviously for your stems, that's obviously for your leaves. Uh, binding, apples. Beautiful, 19 99 And that will make, oh, there you go, that will make that. That's the, oh, no, that one is the one made out of, the, out of this, isn't it? Yeah. It was photographed this morning, yes. And then I've also got it in blue, which we haven't got a photograph of. Here's the blue one. So again, you get the instructions. You get a metre of the beige, and then you get blue apples. So that making blueberries, would it? I don't know. Oh, there are blue apples, apparently. Gorgeous. 19.99. And then the only other thing I've got here, which we haven't got here to show you, but I've got the instructions for Sally Ann's Liberty Flower Pin Cushions, which we have done before. We've yeah. had them on the show before. Um, just the pattern on its own. Ooh. If um, if anybody buys that one, I've also got a basket now that I've designed. Oh, that's right. To I remember. hold the hold all the three flowers, and if they want, to, if they buy that, and then they come to me and ask me for the basket pattern, I'll give it to them for free. Oh, there you go. So yeah. buy this. Email uh, Sally Ann, and yep. she'll send you the pattern for the basket for free. Yeah, that's nice. Gorgeous. Right. Um, I won't see you on the third because I don't think I'm in that day or the second or whatever day you said it was. I'm not, I, I'm not in then, am I? No. No, I'm not. No, no I'm not. Anyway, thank you, thank much, you very as much, always. John. Yeah. Um, I don't go anywhere. It's me and sewing machines and things to make storage bags straight after the break. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes, it's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. We are moving home. 
From Wednesday the 26th of January, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane are moving to Freeview Channel 73. We will still be on Sky Channel 670, YouTube and Facebook Live as normal. It's only the Freeview Channel that is changing. Keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook, Instagram and our email newsletter for more details. And if you watch us on Freeview, don't forget to tune into Freeview Channel 73 from 8am on Wednesday the 26th of January. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck! Sorry about that. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Right, thank you, Sally Ann. A brilliant demonstration as always. Now, 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 now. I have got a sewing machine for each uh, pocket, really, uh, for today. I've got the... Oh no, hang on, there's one, oh no, um, there's one missing. I haven't, I didn't think I had this one. Anyway, I'm going to start with this one, right? I'm going to start with this one. I thought it was the 780 I had, not the 580. It's both. All right, we'll leave the 580 there then. Right, let's start with this one. Let's start with this one. If you have got somebody in the family who is just beginning, just starting, just starting out in their sewing journey, and you don't know if they're going to 
carry on doing it, but you want a really, well, you want the experience of Elna behind you. You want the, the guarantee of Elna behind you. And you want the quality of Elna behind you. Then this is a fantastic starter sewing machine. Look at the price, right? It's £299. I'm not sure why it's on four-way split pay. So you pay £74.75 today. We will send this out to you. Oh, El now, oh, now, before I tell you anything else, right? These all come directly from Elna. Do not book the express delivery. You saw how quickly Sue, Sue messaged in earlier, didn't she, saying that she bought it on Friday and it's arrived, arrived today, right? I can't guarantee it'll, they'll all be that quick, but that's how good Elna are at getting the dispatching. Because what they are is these are in Elna's warehouse in Stockport. We can only sell what what they've got in stock there, right? We can only we can only sell what we've got. They're ready to go, but they don't do the ultra quick delivery. That only comes from our warehouse. This doesn't come from our warehouse. But anyway, you pay two hundred ninety nine pounds today, or you pay seventy four pounds and seventy five pence today, and then again three more times after that. Uh, I've got a price comparison for you here before I take you around the machine. Here it is, direct comparison for three hundred thirty nine pounds. £339 for... Now, that's interesting because when we got the 570 back in stock, it had gone up by £40, right? I'm wondering maybe that they've got new stock and theirs has gone up by... Oh, elsewhere, also elsewhere, all 339 All 339 uh, It is a lovely little machine as well. Lovely little machine for for a beginner. For a, it's very it's very good because I'm not going to do any sewing with it. But look, if you look here, you've got your oh stop 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 stop. I'm just I'm not going to do any sewing with it. I haven't got the I haven't got the um, foot pedal plugged in right. And automatically, I just press that. You can sew without using the foot pedal. You see, for two nine nine, you've got a start stop button there. Uh, Hannah bought hers. It was an Elna from when we were at Sewing Quarter at the beginning. She hasn't got a start, stop button on hers. And hers was a lot more expensive than that. She's not happy. She's not happy. Anyway, look, start, stop button there. Then if we move along, we've got our reverse button here. We've got our da -da 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 lock stitch button there. We've got our needle up or needle down button here. Can you see it? Yeah, you can't see the needle. No, says Elliot. Look, needle up, needle down. So if you want to pivot, just press that, the needle will go down. This is you go faster, go slower. And then these, oh, you'll just have to move the QR code, please, Elliot. These 30 stitches are all the stitches that this machine can do. They're all inbuilt. You've even got a buttonhole, look. 30 stitches, that's what I just said. 30 stitches all built into the machine. So you've got straight stitch, quarter inch foot, yeah, quarter inch stitch, you've got your zigzag, you've got your stretch stitch, you've got some satin stitches down there, you've got the feather stitch. Uh, you've even got, excuse me, blanket stitch. Blanket stitch, look, you see, and you've got the buttonhole stitch there. And look, so you've got here, um, excuse me, on a machine like this, you normally expect to load the bobbin in underneath there, don't you, right? Not here, not on this one. Top loading bobbin there. Um, so you just literally pop that. Oh, they go like that. And the bobbin will pop out. That's not got a bobbin in it. We were putting one in earlier. I don't know what's happened to it. It must have fallen on the floor. Anyway, has all of that. Now, are you wondering, oh, I'll do that in a minute. Are you wondering how do you find your stitches and how do you change the stitch length and stitch width? Right, have a look on the front here. We've got mode, right? So you've got your different modes here. So that's your mode to choose your stitches. Then if you go down uh, a mode to mode, uh, that there is your, hang on, I can't see from here. Right, that's choose your stitches. That one there is your stitch width. That one there is your stitch length. You see, so that you just change the mode. Then if you go back to stitches here, you know that you've got 30 stitches. Just move the QR code, would you? Thank you. You know you've got 30 stitches in here, right? You just choose those by going like this. Up and down, you see. So you, I've chosen number 12 there, so what's that? Oh, yeah, you go. It's a, uh, it looks like a blind hem, uh, blind hem stitch, that one. 
How brilliant is that? So you've got all of that all built in, all for £299. Um, you've got your pr uh, presser foot here, goes down and up. And e even, look, 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 look. Oh, hang on, John, come on. Look, lifts up even higher. You have to hold it, but it lifts up even higher. You've got a little gubbins box on the front there. Um, feed dogs. Thank you. Drop the feed dogs, raise the feed dogs. If you can do a bit of um, free motion embroidery or something like that. All of the... Oh, and it's got £20 off for some... Oh, that's interesting. What that say for £20 is then? Do you think it's supposed to be £319? Oh. Anyway, take advantage, take advantage, take advantage. Now, I can tell you what feet you get with it. That's you, Hannah. Yeah. That was your cue, Hannah. She said, when you're ready, John, I've got the feet. When you're ready, John, I've got the feet. When you're ready. So I'm ready. No. Ready. Standard foot A. Z zipper foot. Satin stitch foot. The buttonhole foot. And then you get bobbins. Seam ripper. Needle set. Um, no, no, look. Um, is there a needle threader on a, on a machine for £299? Spool holder, large spool. Spool pin, Elliot, spool pin. Additional spool pin. Screwdriver, foot controller. And a soft cover, this one has. How brilliant is that? All of that. Let's put that back. Let's put that back. All of that for your £299. Get it home for £74.75. and so You just pay that three more times and it's paid for. What a brilliant little machine. If you've got it in your basket, you do need to check out, though. Lots of you coming in for that today. Do you also know... Do you also, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt them. But do you also know that if you... um. If you've got, say you've got your best machine at home, say you've got a 580 or 780 or 680 at home and you want one to take away in the caravan at the weekends or if like Alice and Marion, you go on the boat and things like that. This one would be perfect because it's going to do all your stitches, isn't it? I can't believe it's £299. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, please, please, please go and look elsewhere. You'll see, it. like, Hannah searched all sorts of websites to try and find it for that price. Obviously, we're not saying we're the only person who's going at that price because there might be a shop somewhere near you that has a shop for that. Brand new, waiting to come to you with a two-year warranty uh, from Elna, right? Do not pay for express delivery. That's all we're saying. Excellent. We haven't shown that one for ages. It's been hiding in the cupboard, that one. Right, now, if you're thinking, well, that's very well, but now I've got, um, I'm a little bit further on down my sewing journey and I want a machine, so I've already either borrowed somebody's or I've, I've always borrowed my mum's or my sister's or my brother's and, or, and I think I want to move to the next stage. Well, uh, the next stage up is still under £500, still under £500. We have here the 5 of 50. I'll just move it. The 550. Right, so let me just plug that one in. Da -da -da -da. Right, this is the 550. Comes with the extension table. Comes with a hard cover, this one. Oh, hang on, what's happened? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Elliot set this one. When you put the extension table on, make sure the legs are down. Ready? Oh, they were! That's Elliot, they were! There's your, you have to take your gubbins box off. There's your extension table. Nice little machine. Comes with a hard cover as well, but obviously you can't put the extension table on and the hard cover at the same time. Um, it's a really lovely machine, this. Now, the 550, the 560, the 570, they're all exactly the same body, the same motor, the same engine, but this is the only one that comes in under £500. Again, I don't know why we've got it on four-way split pay, but you can have it on four-way split pay if you want. You don't have to. Again, they're waiting in the... Um, no, you don't pay any extra on split pay. No interest charge whatsoever. They are in stock in Stockport, Elna in Stockport right now, ready to be shipped out to you. 
Um, now, if you want to, this one, I'll tell you the feet this one comes with in a minute, but if you want to buy something extra, like a walking foot or something like that, or um, uh, a free motion embroidery foot, just ring Elna and they can sort it all out for you. You have to buy them, obviously, but they'll sort it all out for you. So for £499 with a two-year warranty direct from Elna. Now, I need to tell you the 570s have all sold out completely. The 570s went again. They've all gone completely. And we might have some 560s in stock. I'm not sure. But this is this one. We want to bring you this one because it's under £500. Have a look at this. I'll take you around the sewing machine. Have a look at this. So you've got a sewing space of 170 millimetres. You've got your free arm, which is where you take your gubbins box off. You've got your backlit LCD screen. You've got a horizontal full road trip. That's, the, um, that's filling the bobbin from the top. Built-in needle threader, feed dogs that are attracted, built-in LED lights, extra high presser foot. I'll show you all this in a minute. Stitch reference chart, start and stop button, reverse button, auto lock stitch, up and down needle position. Right, next slide, please. There are what, sorry? Oh, there are some 560s still available. I'll explain the difference in a minute. That could, but you go way over the foot, not way over, you go over the 499. Right, the next slide, look, this is everything you get with it, right? Standard foot A, quarter inch foot, zipper foot, satin stitch foot, over edge foot, uh, automatic buttonhole, and a blind hem stitch foot. That's all of those. And then look at all the things on the left hand side you get. You get bobbins, extension table, foot control, hard case, instruction manual, lint brush, needle, cable, screwdriver, seam ripper, spool caps, and spool pins. All of that comes as standard. So it's absolutely brilliant this if you if you want to make that next step up from your 450 this is your 550 there it is at 499 pounds okay right okay so let me take you around the machine very quickly so uh you've got your foot pressure here or your tension here your foot pressure there you've got your da -da 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 lock stitch there you've got your needle up needle down position there needle up needle down or needle down needle up um that's your locking stitch there. This is your go faster, go slower. Then on the front here, you've got your um, choosing your stitches. I'll tell you about that in a second. Let me just get that off there. There you go. Yeah, you can choose your stitches. This here is your stitch length and your stitch width. That's your factory setting, right? Now you're thinking, well, if I'm on a straight stitch, why is it said three and a half and 2.4? 2.4 is your stitch length. You can make that smaller. You can make that bigger goes up to a five that's the biggest it will do a five which is big now you're wondering here why we've got stitch width on a straight stitch well that's because you can move the needle that's your cue Elliot look so you know when you want to move your needle across just a little bit to a scant quarter of an inch or move to a quarter inch foot or anything like that you can move it from the left to the right even on this machine it's fantastic isn't it um just clear that for you. Oh, and I didn't need to do that, sorry. Uh, these buttons here, this takes you straight to that factory setting. This here takes you to a zigzag. This one here takes you to your over edge foot. Now, uh, over edge uh, stitching, this is like overlocking, but obviously it doesn't cut the edge off. So if you just want to stitch the edge like an overlocker, then you use your over edge, uh, your, uh, over edge stitch. This here takes you straight to your buttonhole stitch. Straight, straight to buttonhole. You need to put your buttonhole foot on. When you put your buttonhole foot on, you also need to lower this. That tells your buttonhole foot when to stop and start. You have also got a needle thread on here as well. Make sure your needle is in the up position, in the full up position. So if you don't know, just press your needle up, needle down till it goes up and then it will show you that. So you've got both of those there. Uh, while I'm there, I'll just show you this. There's your bobbin that you put in from the top, which is exactly the same as the one on my 680. Now remember, this is a category B, C. Uh, is that right? B, C? Yeah, category B, C. So if you want to buy any accessories for it, it needs to be the category B, C that you buy. So if you ring for a walking foot or ring for any feet, it needs to be for the B, C category. Now, when I showed you this here and I said this is how you choose your stitches, this machine comes with 50 inbuilt stitches. And where are they? Doesn't that look like a cigarette? That looks like the end of a cigarette there, doesn't it? Uh, just move that, just move the QR code for me because I'm going to show you where the stitches are. Stitches are in there, look. All 50 inbuilt stitches. Now we'll have a look at them. He's just going to bring it in close. So if you have a look at the stitches here. Look at the, how many buttonholes you get. I know. So you've got straight stitch, you've got quarter inch foot. 
you've got zigzag, you've got feather still, feather stitch, you've got your blind hem foot there, you've got your three different buttonholes, you've got eyelet stitching, you've got some embroidery stitches on there, and uh, not embroidery, decorative stitches on there, you've got some satin stitches on there. Look at number 40, that's interesting, isn't it? So let's go to number 40. Say you want to do number 40, right? So all you do is you go here and you choose... Uh, oh, 47, 37, 38, 39, 40. Oh, no, 40. 40. There's the tens, there the singles. It's been a while. I've not been in all week. Um, and that tells you that it's set to be seven wide and 0.4 long. Have a test of it. If it's not what you want it to be, you can then make it your own, but it won't let you go. Right, look, see, so it won't let you go beyond 0.8 upwards, and it won't let you go smaller than zero two downwards and then this one here the widest it'll go is a seven but look you can change it so you if it's not quite if it's not wide enough or narrow enough or whatever for your applique or whatever you're using it for or your decoration then you just do that want to go back to the beginning you just press that it takes you back to factory settings straight away and it's just, it's, I think it's just a brilliant little machine. It's got a two-year warranty, like I said, that comes direct from Elna. You can extend that, but you have to buy that. But everybody we know just has, has, hasn't needed to because they've been such a brilliant, brilliant machine. It's the Elna E50, 8550 sewing machine. Hang on, you can't both talk at the same time, I'm afraid. Oh, God, Fifu. Fantastic sewing machine, it's reasonable price to say that it is a computerized mode. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? And it's not nothing, it's not computerized to be frightened of. Do not be frightened of it. It's a lovely sim. You get a full on brochure of how to use it and everything. If you have any issues, the customer service team at Elna in Stockport are brilliant. You might even get lovely Lucy Brennan answering the phone to you. No, she doesn't answer the phone, she's not based there. Elliot's going, oh, Jane Broken, you won't get Jane Broken. Jane Broken is not based at Stockport, just so you know. Yeah, I'll shut you down, Elliot, because you're wrong. You're wrong. And you were saying earlier how you're very rarely wrong, weren't you? Very easy to set up, very easy to wind your bobbin. At £499, a gorgeous little machine, this one. But I say little, it's going to last you for ages. Four, and it's under £500. Split paper. And for some reason, I don't know why all these machines are on four-way split paper. There you go. £124.75, and pence four times. No interest charge whatsoever. Do I need to tell you anything else? Oh, yes. So the gubbins box comes off. You've got your... Um, now, on this one, your feed dogs are at the back. So I'm going to turn it around. You drop in your feed dogs are at the back here. So there's that's how you drop your feed dogs there. Uh, just slip that across and then you uh, when you take your, this off your gubbins box off um then you can put your um dish your free arm to put your table on and then you put all your feet in there there's none in there as you can tell there's none in there at the moment whatsoever elliot has them all filed in a box next door uh anyway 499 pounds brilliant 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 little machine right now oh now the difference between this and the 560 now, how much is the 560 now? I don't want to get it wrong. Hannah's just checking for us now. On the five, how much? So for 60 pounds more, yeah, 60 pounds more, you can get the 560. The 560, along here, it has the thread cutter. You do have the thread cutter. And it, just move the QR code for me. There's a hundred stitches on the 560, a hundred inbuilt stitches. So an extra 50 stitches, plus your, knee, your thread cutter. Brilliant, that's the difference. It's, a, it's exactly the same body, exactly the same motor, exactly the same everything else. I'm just trying to think, has the 560 got more buttons on it? Oh no, no, I tell you what the 560's got. You've got one extra button on there for your memory thread cutter. That's what you get on the 560, a memory thread cutter as well as your thread cutter up there. Yeah, oh, you get all the, uh, you've got everything else the same on there. So it's just <coughs> for an extra 60 pounds, you get the thread cutter, you get memory thread cutter, and you get 50 more inbuilt stitches, you get 100 inbuilt stitches in total. So that's the difference between the 550 and the 560. All right, now we can move on to this one, which is the one Sally Ann was just using. 
Oh, got a question from Margaret. Sorry, message sent too early. Okay, I would like to know how easy it's to thread the needle as my vision is poor on the 780. Right, do you mean the need to use the needle threader? The needle threader on the 780. Um, it's the same, it's the same on all of them. What you need to do is as long as you make sure that the needle is at its most upright position, it's a really, really easy one to do. It pushes it through, and then you just need to pull it out the back, you know, to pull the loop, just pull the loop. You will you do need to pull the thread out though at the back. So Unless you get a native lighting with the, with the what's it on, that might help at all. But 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 it, it is an easy one to do. It, it it say that again. Oh yeah, no, the seven eighty. I, I haven't got it here. The seven eighty has got all of those brilliant lights on it and everything like that. I wasn't thinking about the light, Elliot. I was thinking about the magnifying glass. Anyway, five eighty. This is the one that Sally Ann's just been using here. Right. So this is is your next one up from the five seventy. But it's it's housed in the 680 body, right? So now Dawn Taylor has got this one. She calls it El Nan because she bought it with money that was left to her from her nan. Now the other oh the other thing I need to tell you, and um, I don't re really, um, this isn't this is not to add undue pressure. I don't want you to think oh I've got to buy I've got to buy I've got to buy it now. Um, as you know, the 570 went up in price that 780 has gone up in price so what it is is the ones that we've got in stock at elna stay the same price that they are at the moment so this because we've got these in stock in in elna at the moment they're still at 789 now how many are there do you know how many there are these in in stockport okay i'll be totally honest with you right we've got eight of these left in the stock room at stockport after those eight go, now it might be that Elna go, oh no, I'll do your special deal. But it might be because they have warned us that all prices are going to go up in the new year. So the 780 has gone up already. The 570 has gone up already because we, we sold out a, the 680. The 680 went up to 1,099, I think, didn't it? This machine elsewhere is more expensive already. Now that could be because, because you see what happens in a lot of the shops is you go into a shop. Oh, hang on. I'll just explain that in a minute. Take, take that out a minute. I wasn't doing a show yet. If you go into a shop and you say, oh, I'd like to buy that, that, that company then rings Elna and says, oh, we'd like to have a 580, please. What we do is we guarantee the amount that we're going to sell. So like if, like when the um, 680 came in, I can't remember how many hundreds, they, they said we will have this many hundred and they're sitting on our shelves there. So it means that if we say we, we've got eight of these on our shelf there, those eight will stay at this price. Once those eight have sold, we then have to go back to Elna and guarantee to buy some more. They could be at this price. Slide. Thank you. 899. 810 pounds more. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not saying ours will go up that price, but at the moment, I know, I can guarantee that I've got eight that will be at this price. When they sell, I can't go into Ego. Oh, look, look, look. So this shop, it should be 949, and they've reduced it to 899. So it's still 100, in their sale, it's still 110 pounds more than ours. I mean, it is, it, uh, but anyway, anyway, anyway. So, on this one, all your stitches are all listed along here, right? So, you'll get all the numbers, all the modes. So you've got utility stitches, your decorative stitches, your alphabet. Obviously, you don't have, uh, you've got an alphabet on this. I haven't shown you a machine with an alphabet so far. Uh, the, only of, the only one below this, the 570A, that has an alphabet. But look at that. Look at the, uh, uh, the you've got so much choice here. I forgot to say you can get this on split pay, by the way. Is that one, now is that three or four? Hang on. Three? So that makes the, f the 550 and the 450 even more attractive, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Because they're on four-way split pay. This is on three-way split pay. Still brilliant. No interest charge, 263 pounds three times. So you've got all your stitches. You've got your alphabet and everything in there. You've got all the, uh, the, the buttons that we were just talking about. You've got your thread cutter, your needle up, needle down, your locking stitch. Uh, you've got your reverse stitch there. You've got your start stop button there. Look. Oh no, I've got the foot. Oh no, am I not? 
120 different stitches. Seven buttonholes. They're all up here. They're all up here. Seven buttonholes are there. Look at where they all are along there. Uh, now, this like my... Oh, sorry. I'll show you the stitches there. Oh, that's just showing you those. Right, in here, like on the uh, 680 that I've got, there's your pivot pin. And then here's your, here's your different one. These are the, the uh, feet that they think you're going to use a lot of. That one must be the one on the machine. Sally Ann was doing that just a minute ago, wasn't she? The, the zipper foot. Uh, so you get all of those storage in there, but you also have, obviously, this box here, <laughs> ow, which comes off, which you can store all your other pieces on. Look, there you go. I'll just, I'll put that down, actually, see if I put it down. So you've got room for your other feet in here. Oh, don't move it back. There you go. Other in there, and then you can keep your buttonhole foot in there and everything like that, if you buy a walking foot or your, uh, anything like that. But this will come with more feet, won't it, this one? Oh, I've got a slide. Okay, you get stand, standard foot, over edge foot, a rolled hem foot, zipper foot, satin stitch foot, open toe satin stitch foot, blind hem foot, quarter inch foot, automatic buttonhole, the p pivot pin that I told you about there, I'll tell you about that in a second, yeah. Quilting bar guide, which fits in the back of the hot foot. And then you've got bobbin seam. You don't get a walking foot with this one, but you can get one from um, Elna. You can get one from Elna. Comes with an extension table, 50 by 30 centimetres. And is this a hard or a soft uh, cover? Oh, so <laughs> halfway in between. It's one of those that's like a dust cover, but not flimsy. It's quite a sturdy one. At £789. And again, on here, look, you've got your different modes. Choose your different stitches. There you've got, now this is where you can put your memory uh, cutter in or your memory um, da -da 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 lock stitch. This is how you do your stitch width. This is your stitch length. That's your twin needling. This one here, oh, this one here. So if you look on here, you've got some, some um, satin stitch patterns up here. Right, these. Sorry, no, sorry, just wait the camera to move. See those? If you want to reverse those, mirror image those, then you just press on this button here and you get the mirror image there. Right, and then of course this will take you to shortcut to your look, straight stitch, quarter inch foot, memory zigzag, memory buttonhole. Uh, you can, when you're doing your alphabet, you can use memory button and then of course you've got your clear button there just to, oh hang on, look. Just completely clear everything from there. There's so much you can do on this machine for f at £789. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, as I say, I've got the 680, which is the one above this one, uh, and I wouldn't be without it. Uh, nice message from who, sorry? Oh, an email from Jackie. Hello, John. I have an Elner SU. No idea what that is. It's 45 years old and still going strong. I imagine you at 45, will you be going strong? I doubt it. I doubt it. It's a few weeks. Oh, it's, only, uh, it's only four years away. Four. <laughs> How brilliant. You've got an Elner. Jackie's got an Elner that's had for 45 years. That's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, okay, okay. For the lady you messaged in earlier, who said about uh, my eyesight's not that good. Uh, how how good is the seven eighty at thread uh, thread using the threader? That if you go to the YouTube and put in YouTube Jane Brogan unboxing the Elna seven eighty, she does a demonstration on how to use the needle th cut. Does she? She takes you through how to th use the, the needle threader. That's brilliant, isn't it? Thank you, Elliot, for that. Righty-ho. Now, I haven't got the 780 here, but I'll show you, uh, can I show you a picture? Uh, uh, the 780 is the one, now, I've missed out the 720 because on Thursday, Delphine is in and she's going to be going through the 720 with you. The 780 is the one that Becky Alexander Frost has got. She, I've run out of space on the desk. So she, she, like, so 2,419 pounds again, you can have one split pay, 500 pounds five times. 500 pounds, five times. Um, now, Jane has done a 780 video on the YouTube. 
Becky Alexander Frost has done two one hour shows on the 780 uh, thing here. She wouldn't be without it. She would not be without it. It looks a bit like this, but bigger and more kind of like space age. Here it is. Look, here it is because the screen's much bigger on that one. So on the 780, you get 350 stitches. Now, this is where it jumps up, right? Because the stitch width up to the 580 is seven millimeters. Then when you go to the 680 and the 780, your stitch width goes to nine millimeters. Stitch length still five millimeters. You get 11 buttonholes, you get uh, variable zigzag um, using the knee lifter control. You've got a tapering function, which last time Becky, oh, excuse me, last time Becky Alexander Frost was in, she, that's all she went on about. All she, you also get a ruler mode foot which means you can use any rulers with it, right? Two additional alphabets, Cyrillic and Japanese, as well as the capital letters and numbers up to nine millimeters. Maximum speed 1060, 91 variable needle position, a favorite stitch function, so you can customize and save stitch settings. You've got a stitch composer software, and you've got three megabytes, millibytes, megabytes, of built-in memory. Right now, let's have a look at what feet you get with this because it is now. Look at this right now on the 780. You get you see the plastic box on the left hand side. You get that because there's so much that comes with it. Look, look at that picture. Um, you get so much right. There's no, there's no little. If I'm right, there's not not one of these on it, is there? At the top here, there's not one of those. Um, There's no storage, but there is the flat flat with all the with all the stitches in. Yeah, but there's no on that storage on the front there. So you keep everything in the box, right? Standard foot, rolled hem foot, zipper foot, satin stitch foot, open toe satin stitch, blind hem, overlock, quarter inch, quarter inch seam foot without quilting guide, which is brilliant. Closed toe darning foot, open toe darning foot, free motion quilting closed toe foot, free motion quilting toe uh, foot, free motion quilting zigzag foot, variable zigzag, ruler foot, automatic buttonhole, button sewing foot, dual feed AD foot and holder. Now, am I uh, right in saying that that's the, yes, this is the, the, the walking foot on that one. You get a wide one and a narrow one, and you can fit different feet on to the bottom of it. So if you're doing a much narrower work, you can fit the narrower walking foot feet onto it. It's brilliant like that. Um, there's so much stuff. Is there one more? I've got one more slide to show you, haven't I? There you go. Professional grade quarter inch seam foot, dual feed plus HP2 and holder. That's what I was talking about there. Professional grade needle plate and straight stitch needle plate. So you get three needle plates with this one. You get your normal one, we can do straight stitch and zigzag. You get your straight stitch one, and then you get your professional straight stitch one. And you have to use the, the, the foot that goes with the professional straight stitch one to use that one with properly. Uh, it is £2,499. It is a considered purchase. Please, please, please do go and watch Jane on YouTube or Becky Alexander Frost on YouTube on her two shows when she, when she demonstrated it because she's passionate about it because she absolutely loves this machine. Anything else I need to tell you? No, so let's come over here then. Come with me. No, we're not doing Willy Wonka's factory. Right. Th this table is definitely lower, isn't it, today? I can't have grown. Remember when I very first started here, they were, we were going to raise the tables, weren't we? Uh, top loading bobbin, says Debbie, is a game changer. Right, okay. Beechwood, ruler rack. So this is just a bit, a few bits and bobs to do with storage and things, isn't it? Very useful bits. But this one here, we've got this open somewhere, haven't we? This one here, you've got your ruler rack, but then you've also got, I'm not going to open this one, you've also got four holes. You put your prongs in, you put your threads on. And then you've got your little uh, dig, dug out bit there, put pins in or anything like that. There it is, there it is. Look, £13.99. pence. you want that to do what? You could put a magnetic dish in there, though. Oh, no. A bar of soap. You could put your beeswax in there. Or your um, thread magic. Could it be magic now? Come, come into your arms. Right. <laughs> now, I've also got Millwood rulers. Now, which one first, please? They are down. 
Right. Don't buy this yet. Do not buy it yet. You get four slots, 10.99, and it's that big. How big is it? 25. Well, it's 10 inches by 4 inches, Elliot. Ten inches by four inches. Do not buy it yet, because if you've got space, right? So that's a four slot, ten by four. This one is a five slot, still four inches across, but nineteen and three quarter inches in length. Look at the price. A pound more. So if you've got the space, get this one. Get this one because it's twice, the, well, it's more than twice the size, isn't it? No, it's twice the size, isn't it? Twice the size with an extra, with an extra groove or extra slot. Slot. 11.99. It's a funny noise. Oh, Elliot, it's like a big balloon who's deflating, he says. Oh, poor old Elliot. Right, next. Wooden spool rack. This is cute. It's actually, oh no. Where's it gone? There's a still. Isn't that weird? We used to have one on the set all the time, didn't we? I think Elliot's moved it. When he did the Christmas decorations, I think he hid a lot of things. What couldn't we find this morning? Oh, the little heart ruler we couldn't find this morning, could we? No. Seven ninety nine. This is beach. Uh, and how many? Twenty five spools you can fit on there. Elliot wants to go to the beach to have a really cold beer. One, he can't have a beer because he's on dry January. And two, if he goes to the beach, someone tries to harpoon him. Seven ninety nine. It's true. I only speak the truth. <laughs> I'm going to get into so much trouble. <laughs> or they try to roll him back in, you know. Oh, here's one, here's one. Let's get him back in the water. <laughs> it wasn't a boy, it was Elliot. Well, take that either way. Right, where are we going next then? Amber makes. Storage set, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Still have this one made up in the bumblebee. So in this kit, you do get Rebecca. Well, I say Rebecca reads. I think Amy is the driving force behind this one. So you get the instructions. You get the Styleville. This is why we couldn't do the, which is why we couldn't put Styleville in the cushion earlier because it was all in this kit here. So you get the Styleville and you get this enormous panel. At twenty nine ninety nine, Vanessa Watts says what? Oh, here we go. John, I wish you could afford the seven eighty. Love the show today. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. One day, Vanessa. One day. I keep saying that every time I do the. They're not called the pools anymore. Are they what they call the lottery? Never win. Never win. We used to call it the pools when I was little. Eight score drawers you used to have to get. Yeah, and the man used to come and collect the sheet with the money. Let's do what? When you drive, I'll tell you what, our, our headlight dipper on my dad's car was a little click. It was on my first car, it was a clicker on the foot on down there. So we wanted to, you know, your headlight dippers or the main beam, you just pressed on this button down by the left hand pedal. Is that the clutch or the brake? Hang on. That's the clutch, right? Next to that one, there was a clicky thing on the floor that you used to do your headlight with. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Beautiful, that's the Bumblebee version. That makes this. My first one was an Austin 1100. Uh, 29 99 love. Oh, she's got wool in it. She's got wool in hers. I think that's her house. Or she done one of those green screen and then just added it in. Yeah. Okay, moving on. And then I've got the same, but different, in the um, 
vintage sewing. So you get the instructions, you get the styleville, and then oh, there's the finished sample. That's this one. That is this one. There you go. Oh, she only got wool in that one. She's got scissors in that one. Look. So there's a scissor keeper. It's not just the. It's not just the um, bag, the storage bag. There's a pin cushion, a scissor keeper, and a tape measure holder. Nice. Stephanie loves her 780. It. I have the Rainbow Warrior patrolling the beach, yelling her push her back at sea whenever I'm out sunbathing. Oh, Sue. Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Gorgeous. There we go. There's some cruel people around, aren't there? Right. Next. What time is it? Oh, look at the time. Flies when you're enjoying yourself, doesn't it? I'm not in tomorrow again. It's really weird. I've come in, unpacked all my stuff, got to pack it all up, take it home again now. A room with a view. Got that. Here you go. <laughs> it's because the table's lower. You can see what my hips are doing now. Yeah. This is a room with a view, this one's called. No, no, it has moved because it's standing in the wrong place. It just feels a lot lower. Nine ninety nine. These are cute. Look, because you've got panels at the front where you can see inside the storage. Nine ninety nine. I haven't seen that one for ages. No, I remember this one from Sand Quarter. We had this one at Sand Quarter. Nine ninety nine. By Annie.com. Sturdy zippered bins in three sizes. Got my PVC, plain, cut glass. This one's called this one. Oh, that's a lovely one, actually. Glass clear supple. Uh -huh. $2.99 for a supple PVC. Obviously, you're buying this off the roll, so if you want a metre or a metre and a half or two metres, you can have it and it'll all come in one piece. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Remember where I used to work, Hannah. Two ninety nine. Gorgeous. Right, moving on. I've also got PVC with glitter, I think, haven't I? Yep. Rainbow. Or is it, oh, no, it might not be the rainbow. Oh, it's just called Glass Clear Glitter. They've changed the names of them, haven't they? Yeah, it says silver, but it looks like rainbow, doesn't it? This is the one you'll get. This is the one you'll get. Are you wearing big platform shoes, John? No, I've just got my normal shoes on. Anyway, that's beautiful. Um, anything else before we go? What? Glue. Every time this comes in, it sells out because this is the solvent glue from Guterman. For bag making. Thank you, Elliot. Oh, do you know what? Doesn't that look... I thought, I thought oh, the box is bent because that looks like it's going down the side, but it's just the colour it's drawn in. Ignore me, I'm going. It's time for me to go and have my boiled egg. I've got to take my platforms off. It's, it's no, because there's not much air up here. That's what it is. Four ninety nine. Hmm. Ian, who? Tall Ian. Is he watching? Is he watching? The. <laughs> I've got to say hello to Ian because he's watching apparently. He won't be. He'll be out playing American football or something like that, won't he? Or baseball, I mean. Right, four ninety nine. moving on. Uh, I've got time to do anything else. 
Quick question, then I'll do the menu. Uh, hi, John. How do you get the crease out of PVC? My husband does from Glynis. You can iron it, but with a tea towel over the top of it, right? You can iron it with a cool iron with a tea towel over the top of it. I always used to say, hang it in your bathroom with lots of steam and everything, but apparently the best way is to iron it with a tea towel over. But obviously, test the corner first. Lowest heat, test the corner first. Tomorrow's menu, it's fixed tomorrow. She's got fabulous fabrics at 8 o'clock. Then Jenny Jackson's in tomorrow. Oh, she'll be, go she'll be going to bed in a minute. She'll be going to bed in a minute, won't she? Because she sets off from where she lives for tomorrow morning. EPP, arrows quilt and drawstring bags uh, with Jenny Jackson. Sewing room tools and canvas at 10 o'clock. That'll be a Hannah hour. Then EPP, placements and pouch. Placemat, sorry. Placemats and pou pouch with Jenny Jackson. And then at 12 o'clock, Kits you will love. I am going now. I have to tell you, I am in on Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday this week. So um, it's either a good thing or a bad thing, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for your company today. Make sure you check out your machines. Make sure you check out everything in your basket if it's still there. And enjoy Vix tomorrow. And I will see you on Thursday morning.